What'd you say, boy? Did it voice change your boy? Look at this is the real fucking DB boy talking to him. DB boy. Oh, uh, let's see if this jerk off answers. Yeah. Hey, Mark, why don't we uh, why don't we have a heart to heart and talk about how I did not scam you out of a fucking dime? Uh, I do my job. I got a job to do right now. I don't have time for the bullshit. Oh, you only got time to talk about me on your on your phone, right? I'm in good truck. I got to park this fucking thing. We'll talk later, man. Yeah, you better call me. Hi, you pizza boy. What are you gonna do this morning, pizza? DB boy. You're proud of the magazine, but you ain't nothing. You're a punk face. Now come on, do so. That's pretty highly of you, you know what I mean? You guys are so dumb, you couldn't fuck a dead horse. That's how stupid you people are. You know what I'm saying? DB boy. You know, why is that wall? Oh, he built that wall. I said, wow, he built that big wall. Uncle Angelo, too? Yeah, Uncle Angelo, too. He believed it. I mean, you know, why, why, you know, if you're, if you're the head of it, why wouldn't you know it? Like, like, what? You're getting a little aggressive now. I, I'm, I'm not aggressive at all. I'm asking a simple question. I'm getting aggressive. Get these fucking fruitcakes. Hey, I don't give a shit if everyone here goes to Marianne for a thousand years. It's getting no fucking deal. No fucking deal. I have none to do with it. That would be retribution. Now I the God Almighty. I'm Gandhi. Are you out of your mind? Are you seriously out of your mind? You sick bastard. Hey, no negative, you. Dude, you know Billy's threat for late. I didn't mean to call you a dude. Well, well, you don't say nothing. Shut the fuck down and shut up. What kind of life is splashing around in the waves and saying, Wee! Don't say that to my face, I'll crack you upside your head. You fucking punk. You shouldn't even be in here. Now I'm out. Have a nice night. Motherfucker!
You know what? I'm not putting up with this. Angel, have a good life with these fucking idiots. Have a nice life, Angel. You went a long way in a couple of days. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, Angel, stop. Please, stop. Motherfucker. DV boy. What's up, everybody? Happy Monday. The weekend is over, and we're here for another shit show with your host, Gunsmoke the Dog. Yeah. Yeah. Hope you guys are feeling all right. Hope, hopefully you had a good Easter weekend. It's over now. Yeah, it's over. Back to the shit, y'all. Cut the music, y'all. Yeah. I want to thank. I want to thank Danny Green for starting off the show the right way. Starting off the month the right way. Danny Green. $20. What up, Schmokey? Thank you, Danny. You're the man. Thank you for understanding I have to survive the ghetto here. You understand? I appreciate you, man. Thank, Thank you for looking out. Ah, it's rough. It's rough. You know, I'm in a rough business here. What's up, Nita, baby? Good to see you, Nita. Sally, good to see you. Happy belated Easter. Yeah, that's right. You weren't here yesterday. What the hell, man? You weren't in a church. I'm sitting up, drum. I'm sitting up. We're not laying down yet. Good to see you, drum. Sven Larson's in the house with a nice weather report for tomorrow. Tomorrow, it's going to be 45 degrees in Denmark. It's going to be cloudy. Shit. It's going to be raining here all week, boy. Till, till at least Thursday. I don't know. Maybe even Friday. I love the rain, though. I'm built for this shit. April showers bring May flowers. Joe Root. Brian Bozak. Root Irish. I admit I am JC. I live in Fresno, not Redding, California. The way is so smart. I knew you were JC, you little son of a bitch. JC, my buddy, fool with everybody. April Fool's Day. <laughs> you dumb way. Oh, okay. I knew it, Rude Irish. I knew you weren't JC. You fooled me. April Fool's. We're going to talk about that shit because uh, today I wanted to pull like a little April Fool's prank, but I couldn't think of nothing good. Uh, could have been bad, you know? Like, I don't know. I couldn't think of nothing that was appropriate. So I said, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. So I couldn't think of nothing. So maybe you guys have some good uh, April Fool's jokes that you've played on each other or other people in the past or had one played on you. and. You want to talk about it, you know, you could type it in the chat or you could come on the show and talk about it. You know, I don't know. But I wanted to do something for April Fool's. I just couldn't think of nothing. So it's a real shit show. Oh, here's the real Jay She, my buddy. Just did an interview on Soft White Vagina. Uh, he's telling his story about how he ran the Reading Mafia. Uh, yeah, JC's a. Uh, Soft White Underbelly uh, interview just came out. I haven't watched it yet. I saw the thumbnail. Pretty cool. And, uh, you know, he looks like he's in Time Magazine over there. I got to go check it out. Um, I'm, I'm going to do that later tonight. I'm going to watch, uh, see what JC had going on there. I'm going to leave a nice little comment in support of my brother. BX. The haters are being overwhelmed by soft white vaginas, legit fans who are asking him to have me back on. And I love it. <laughs> I love it. The pause before the fuck you is great. Um, 
I think she was thinking about, you know, how to respond when, once he hung up and what he said. She was trying to think of something smart, but that's what came out, you know. Whenever you run out of things to say, a good old fuck you is the best option left, you know. If you, if you can't think of something smarter to say, you know, just say, fuck you. Fuck you. What up, Marky Mark? Yeah, wipe the cold out your eye. See who's this page B and why. It's Roro. What up, Roro? Oh, yeah. Shouts to all the beautiful people in the chat. Thank you for being here. 30, 39 people. Hit the like button, please. Do me that favor. Uh, even though likes don't get me shit. What's up, Big Small? Good to see you. Wee! You been going to the beach, boy? You've been in those waves going, wee! They got seals now, real seals, washed up on uh, Coney Island Beach, which is normal for this type of year, time of year. And uh, they're saying, leave the seals alone. They're just resting, you know? They, they're in the water all day going, wee! You know, they come on the beach to rest. I do the same thing. I know what it's like. What's up, Emerald? That song is far too 80s. Gonna have to get some Aquanet and tease my bangs. Somebody said they like it, you know. They said they want me to play it every damn show. And today I didn't have an intro ready, so I said, fuck it. I'll, uh, I'll play the same old shit. Oh, somebody sent me a text message. God damn it. <sighs> anyway. God damn it. We built this city on fucking assholes. Built this city. Built this city on stupid assholes. How many potatoes you eat yesterday? Smoke none. I eat no fucking potatoes. There's gonna be no fucking potatoes. No fucking potatoes. Danny Green, Trump 24, fuck the woke. Yeah, fuck the woke, boy. You better keep that same attitude when it's time to vote, boy. I know that much. You better do the right thing, all right? When it's you alone in that voting booth, nobody's around to see, do the right thing, people, huh? Hit the lever for Trump. Just do it. Stop this nonsense. Stop this insanity going on out here. I mean, the friggin' president said yesterday was... National Transformers Visibility Day. We're, so, we're supposed to observe uh, Transformers on um, Easter. Picks a religious holiday to talk about that sick shit. Push, push that sick shit on kids, you know. Transformer egg hunt, you know, with Transformers. And the Transformers read you a little Easter time story, you know. Sick shit. Thing I need this shit. Schumacher taking pictures of unsuspecting female truck truckers. Motherfucker. Oh, that looks like a hot one right there, you know. Oh. What up, Tatone? The real gangsters. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay. We're going to have a surprise guest. A son of Sicily. A son of America. He just texted me. He's been missing in action for a while. And I was just thinking about him the past couple of days. I was going to call him the other day. And I didn't. I didn't want to bother him. But I thought about him, I think, last night or today. I'm like, what the fuck happened to this guy, man? What the fuck did I do? So it's kind of a relief that he just texted me now and said, drop the link when I'm ready. We're going to drop that link in a couple of minutes. I'm going to bring his ass on here, see what he has to say for himself. <clears throat> we all miss the guy around here. I'm sure I know I do. I'm sure some of you people out there miss him too. 30,000 views in less than 11 hours. And Mark said 1,200 likes and only 20 dislikes. That's awesome, JC. Good for you, man. At least somebody's getting views around here, huh? Must be nice. 
Doug Jack, what up? You got to try some soft white vagina smoke. Breakfast of champ. Yeah, I've had it before. Yeah, it's, it's, it's overrated. It's all right. It's all right. I need some chocolate, baby. Need a baby. I have an intense migraine, and you impersonating her voice is not helping one bit. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. We're not going to do that today. Don't worry. I won't make a habit of it. Alex Riz, what up? I'm going to try not to yell now. I don't want to upset you, baby. Did you take any medicine or some uh, some Advil? I don't know. That'll help you, baby. Yeah, we had a good Easter, Alex. Hope you and the family had a good one, brother. People got to start donating. Come on. Smoke entertains us. Help them out. No, no. They, you know, they don't want to hear it, Danny. They don't want to hear it. I'm getting pushed out of this genre. That's what's happening. I'm getting fucked. I'm getting fucked. I did not meet my goal yesterday. I'm, I'm getting fucked. Look, whatever. Sometimes you got to take a loss. Hopefully this month is better. Thank you, Sven. $12 American style. A little something to survive the ghetto. Thank you, Sven, for understanding I got to survive the ghetto too around here. My man. Thank you for your undying loyalty. And your beautiful weather reports. Shout out to Denmark, Mr. International. Sven Larson. Uh, Ryan Morrison, $4.99 British pounds. Love the Lee Cole shows last night. He's spot on politically. Yeah, he's good. He's smart sometimes. It's always good when Lee Cole comes on the show. Tries to save my ass. He doesn't have to do it, you know. I think he does it out of pity and mercy. He's like, oh, dude, this fucking loser. I got to save his show, dude. You know, he's like doing charity work, you know. So shout outs to Lee. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, fellas. Ryan, Danny, Sven, Ryan, thank you, guys. Thank you for keeping me uh, keeping me alive. Joey Franks. Anthony Tevanese. Yeah, Emerald. Where's the puzzle factory president? <laughs> uh, what exactly, how exactly do you celebrate Transformer Day? Cross dress while egg hunting to the song, Dude, looks like a lady. Um, you got to ask Fish. I don't know. Fish knows how to celebrate it. National Transformers Day. It was established 10 years ago. Easter just so happens to fall on March 31st this year, you DV boy. Oh, I didn't know that, Tatone. I thought it was some new shit they came up with, you know? Every June now, they got for the whole month, they got that fucking flag flying at the beach, flying everywhere. That's all you see on buses, fucking U.S. embassies. It's a joke, really. It's a disgrace. For the past 10 years now, it's, it's, there's, no, there's no end in sight, you know? They don't stop. Nobody has the balls to tear those fucking flags down, you know. Boston wants to close down veteran housing shelter into a migrant shelter. Why not open it back up for the homeless vets? They don't care about the homeless vets. They care more about the illegal immigrants than they care about the homeless vets. You think they give the homeless vets a $15,000 prepaid debit card? No. But come here and break our laws, disregard our sovereignty and... Uh, how the hell? What the fuck, Nina? What do you got? A crystal ball? What are you playing with satanic magic over there? We got a Ouija board? Uh, no, it's not Howie today. We got to get Howie on the show, but it's not Howie. We do miss Howie around here. Classy girl Anna. Good to see you, baby. Uh, hope everyone had a happy Easter. Thank you. You too, Robert. Good to see everyone here on a main on a manic Monday. Manic? Are you having a manic episode, Robert? Let's start some shit talking drama. Uh, unfortunately, Danny, I thought about that too. I'm gonna have to do that pretty soon. I tried to do it the other day with A Light. Somebody got fucking upset. Said, "Hey, don't talk about him like that. You just had a family tragedy. Don't talk about him like that." I'm like, "Oh fuck, you're right." I mean, so that went to shit real quick. I tried. Look, I tried to give you guys what you want. You want a little drama shit talk? I tried. 
I figured A-Light would be a good target. I put up his picture and everything. You guys, some of you got, got upset. You're like, don't talk about him like that. He's not a drug addict. <laughs> How dare you listen to other people and what they say? Think for yourself. And I'm like, fuck, man. So I took the picture down and I said, uh, you know, let's forget about it. I tried. <sighs> got to be, uh, you know, got to be nice around here. Can't be trashing people. People get upset. Little boy, little boy. You got to take a loss to be a boss. NBA young boy. You've been listening to NBA. Uh, that's true, Nita. Being a boss is about taking losses and how you come back from it, you know? We'll, we'll bounce back. We'll bounce back, baby. Joe Biden is a cuck. Uh, maybe he used to be. I think he don't even know what's going on to be a cuck. You got to know what's going on first to become a cuck. You want to be a cuck. You got to be. You got to become something first before you even become a cuck. Talk that says to me. Tony Ducks. That rhymes with cuck. But he's no cuck. What up, Tony Ducks? Chicken Hawk Lee. Chicken Hawk. I, I see you, brother. Let me scroll all the way down here. Uh, we built this city. Oh, shit. Is this an April Fool's joke? Are you going to take it back? Fat Bold Italian, $99.99. Look at this. Oh, shit. I got nothing to complain about now. Fuck. That's a sight for sore eyes. Thank you so much, Fat Bold Italian. God bless you, man. Fuck yeah, baby. Fuck yeah. I don't even want to do a show today. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, Fat Bold Italian. <laughs> Praise Allah. Alhamdulillah. Akbar. The blessings of Allah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Hashem. Thank you, Buddha. I don't know if Buddha has anything to do with it. But thank you to the, the three major the gods. Hashem, Jesus, and Allah. Allah. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Fat Paul Italian. Uh, I'm crying tears of joy over here. April Fool's to you too, TV boy. Oh, I can breathe easy now. I thought it was going to be a struggle all fucking week. All right. Good, good start. This is a good start. I have faith now for this month. Please, Jesus. All right, let me drop a link here. Before the son of Sicily, the son of America, disappears on us for the next fucking three months. Let's uh, drop this link. Thank you, fat ball Italian. need a fucking man. Fuck yeah. Fuck. Fuck yeah. Smoke here in Blackpool, England. Blackpool. The fuck? What are you guys swimming around in sewers over there? We have potholes, etc. But the council has money to put diverse rainbows on our crossings. Oh, yeah, I've seen that shit. I'm subscribed to a few uh, British channels on YouTube. I see that shit. Okay, anyway, <laughs> we'll get back to that, Ryan. I present to you the one, the only, Mr. Mr. Rob Jean. What's up, Smokey? What's going on? Look at this guy. Look What's at this going guy. On? How the hell are you? <laughs> How the hell are you? What's going on with you, pal? I was worried about you for a while there. I'm building a plant, man. It's out of control. And you know, I got a couple other things going on, so it's a little nuts. Yeah. I got a plant going up in the Bronx, so it's taking up a lot of time. And, okay. uh, you know, you know about the other issues, so. Yeah, yeah. I just, uh, you know, laying low. I don't want people to know what's going on. And uh, here I am. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. All right. Well, yeah, the people missed you around here. Yeah, I miss them too, man. I, I try to jump in and out when I can or whatever, say hello. Yeah. Yesterday, I jumped in for a little bit, but then uh, I had 15 phone calls. So it's just been a lot going on. But I wanted to say hello to everybody when I, when I had a little time and see what you were up to. Yeah, you know, I'm surviving. I'm doing all right, I guess. I'm all right. Yeah, I can't I can't really complain today. 
Um, how was your Easter with the family? It was good. It was good. It was um, quiet, you know, just uh, my uh, sister-in-law, her family, and uh, me and mine. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, good. How about you? How was the first good. one? It was all right, you know. It was uh, what you know. What are you gonna do? I didn't go Easter egg hunting. I know that. But, uh... Well, I needed to. No Easter egg hunting over here. How's uh, how's Mike the driver? He's all right. He's still Mike. around. <laughs> <laughs> Is he still around? Yeah, he's around. Mike. Oh, uh, good. I mean, I don't know how much longer, but he's still around. Yeah. He, uh, it- he, uh, he had an issue yesterday. Oh, Jesus. Of course he did. On Easter, he had an issue. Imagine this. He uh, he couldn't come into work today. Um, he was at, he went to a party thing, like, a, like his family does this thing where, like, they go to, like, a whole kind of place or whatever, some place to eat. Yeah. And uh, he's got a pretty big family. I know, you know, I know his brother and stuff, I told you. So they go to this place to go and eat. And uh, while they're in the place, the waiters were stealing the 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 people the women's uh, pocketbooks out of their bags. Oh, so uh, you know the women were dancing or whatever. They they rent this place out or whatever. So I guess I don't know. The opportunity was there. Bags were left open. Something this this and that. I don't know. And they uh, a couple of people took some stuff. So he wound up getting arrested. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, he. I don't know. I think he punched one. I don't even know what he did. I'll be honest with you. All I heard, all I, all I heard was, "Please, could you call a lawyer?" So I had to call it to the lawyer. <laughs> but um, yeah, it. Uh, I don't know. He's Mike's a mess. Yeah, he's a good kid. He really is. I like the kid. He's got a good heart. Everything else he's got a good family, but he's just a little bit of a mess. He's got trouble. He's got trouble. <laughs> yeah, he's got. You know what? He reminds. He reminds me of me a little when I was younger, but he's just like, you know, the new, like a newer generation where, you know, he's, uh, he's fiery. You know what I mean? He's a fiery kid, uh, but he's just, uh, he's got a couple screws loose. Yeah. And I'm the only person he listens to. He don't even listen to his parents. So <laughs> I'm the only person he listens to, but it's, you know, you got to yell at him every once in a while. Yeah. So He just needs a little guidance. That's all. BX, no, Mike will not crack under pressure. He's been tested. Oh, my God. <laughs> you see this guy's name? Mike the Driver's Truck. You see this guy? Mike the yeah. Driver's Truck. <laughs> IH Farmer, yes, he is good people. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody who said hello. Um, yes, he still has a job. Uh, Ace Fen, what's up, brother? Um, Tatone, BX, everybody. Uh, Rogo, I, I miss all you guys. It's been a while, but... Um, yeah, I'm just I'm really busy. I'm trying to get ready for the season because we got a lot of work coming and I want to have this third plan up. Yeah. So, you know. Morgan. Oh, we got Morgan and Morgan. Yeah. If I need a lawyer, I'm coming to you, I guess. I well, guess so what, yeah, this type of thing, you might want to call me. Yeah. Um, But he, uh, yeah, he's all right. I mean, I think he's out now. The thing that kills me is, you know, a, a kid's... A couple of people shot at people the other day and got out the next day with no bail, no nothing. Yeah. Kid got into a fight, punched a guy in the face, gave him a black eye, and they're looking to throw the book at him. Wow. You know, it's just weird to me. You know what I mean? I hate to say it, but in this city with the DA, it depends what color you are. If you don't have color. Saying, yeah. yeah, maybe. And, and it's not anybody else's fault, but our own, I guess, you know? Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, he's a nice, he's a good kid. He's 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 scrappy. You know, I like him. He, he painted my ass. You all know that, but yeah, uh, you know that's that's Mike, Mike the driver. Yeah, no, you love this guy. He's a. I do. I got like a good I, kid. I, yeah, I do. I like the kid. He's a good kid. Yeah, he's a tough bastard too. Uh, BX thought you hit the Mega Millions for the jackpot in Man Man Manmouth County, Manmouth. Man mouth. Yeah, didn't one person hit that? I heard. I think just yeah. one person. Son of a bitch. Must be nice. Yeah, it must be nice. You I've been playing a lot more lately. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, I try to play once a week, you know. 
Well, you know, with my with me, I got bad luck. So if I play, I won't win. But if you if you get the tickets and I rob them from you, maybe I'll win. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm gonna play thinking. tonight now. Lotto <laughs> ticket. <laughs> Shit. But um, look, Mike, the driver's truck. I love you too, Bob G. <laughs> my man. <laughs> These people are crazy, bro. That's great. Yeah. So what's been going on? What, I, what have I missed? Because I only catch little pieces. I'm trying to think. Uh, you've missed I, a few I, I miss a lot. Anybody come around? Like, um, what was that guy's name? Uh, Berlin? No. Uh, they don't come around here. Bear uh, Berry. Oh, Bear Berry. You won't hear from him no more. Done. <laughs> done. He disappeared. I have a theory on who it is, but yeah, I, I'm too. probably wrong. <laughs> No, no, no. Well, I think I know who it is too, to be honest with you. Yeah. Now I do, yeah. Only because um somebody reached out to me from a long time ago and um was apologizing to me for something. And um I I couldn't understand what they were apologizing to me. So hey, what's up, another fat ball time? Oh, no. um, so I'm probably wrong then. And I yeah, I couldn't hey, listen, you may be right, but I, I don't know. Remember I, I got a I don't, my short term memory is not really good. So they were uh, apologizing to me. And um, I don't know. I just thought that it was uh, weird. You didn't ask him, like, what the fuck are you sorry for? I did. And um, I said, you know, you're making me think things that you're saying it like this. And he's like, no, you know, the last time we spoke, it wasn't, it wasn't such a good conversation. I'm like, I don't even remember the last time I smoked to you. Yeah, and he was like, "Oh, well, you know, I was by uh, so and so's place, and I was like, I, I, you know, I don't know, I, I don't know." No, it's not fish. <laughs> I mean, did you recognize <laughs> the guy's voice? Um, yeah, I know who the guy is. I know yeah. who the guy is. Does it sound like I it could have been Bradbury? Um, I don't know. I don't know. She's the hello, Phoenix. <laughs> you throw me a cup of coffee. That's I owe you me. more than a cup of coffee. Yeah. There you go. But um, yeah, it was just odd. You know what I mean? That this person called me, and the way they called me, and I just played it off like I remembered what it was, but mm -hmm. I did not hear what they were talking about. And then my sister said, um, I, I had her call him, and um, he gave her the same bullshit story. So. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll figure it out. I'll talk to you later about my theory, who it is. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, Wait, who's Rachel Maddow bashing this dude? Rachel Maddow? Is, no, get the fuck out of here. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. Now, nah, you didn't see this yesterday? The fuck? No, oh, the day before. The house it was crazy. The fuck it? Rachel Maddow, that's funny. Uh, no, John A. Light dressed up in a wig and did like a whole little segment on the do pretending he was the do. Come on, and and started like talking like he was like slow. Look, I got the picture right here. This is uh, A. Light in a wig. Hold on, let me see. <laughs> let me get into it. Come on, <laughs> no, that looks right. that's A. Light. That's A. Light, yeah. That looks like the maid, Larry the maid, <laughs> Larry the maid. Yeah. Wow. So he he he, he made like he was Nadoom was abusing Nadoom. Yeah, he's like, "Hello <laughs> and welcome to another episode of the sit down." Oh, I mean, he was it was like real cringe. Some people thought it was funny. I thought it was ridiculous. I mean, big embarrassment for him. Yeah, that's a little corny. Yeah, so of course he made uh, the dude look like a million bucks. The dude was uh, classy about it, you know, get a little response. And uh, A Light looked like an asshole in the end, you know. So. Really? He fool of himself. Yeah, so that's one thing that happened. Uh, so you the, dude, the dude was going after uh, your friend Jimmy. Was he? No, I didn't hear I that. Heard I heard it. I heard. I did. I heard somebody said that he did a short going after uh, the kid Jimmy. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I must have missed that one. That's what I heard, but that's really all that I heard. I haven't heard nothing else. Yeah. Nobody, you know, you'd be surprised how many people are on these things. 
you know, I, I found out that uh, a, a lot of people are on this from the neighborhood. Yeah, I know. They don't come say hello, though. They don't let themselves be known. They watch from the bushes. I wonder what they think about this show. They're probably like, yo, that kid's a fucking weirdo. No, no, no. They, they're actually, no, they actually like you. I mean, they're yeah. in the chat now, some of them. Yeah, so, I mean, they actually like you. So, I don't know. I don't, that's not negative yeah. by any means. But, I mean, what really could somebody hate you for, uh, really, Smoke? I mean, what do you do? Uh, you, you come in, you, you chop it up, you, you make the people, I mean, what do you really do, honestly? Some people well, resent me. Talk? Some people resent me because I don't attack people. You know, I don't really, uh, you know, it's not my thing. So people resent me for it. I don't know. They don't like it. I don't know. So yeah, why don't you pick up your fucking balls? Pick up your fucking balls and, you know, trash nah. this guy. Trash that one. For what? For what? For what? Like, even like, even like the little issues that I got into, they, like, to me, they get embarrassing, you know, like... With the with the not the my buddy J J C the other J C I still forget his name. Uh, Canary, what the, what's his name? Oh yeah, that guy. Uh. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> and you know, I, that thing was embarrassing. You know, uh, yeah. Stupid thing. Even with the kid fish, like I don't know him from a hole in the wall. You know, but you know, my friend called me and said he said something, so he wanted to come on. But yeah, you know, that, black, I can't so. stop that. <laughs> you won't see has fish Butch around here for long. Has Butchie came back at all or no? Um, he came back one night uh, a couple weeks ago. It was like five in the morning, and I had, I had fish on. And uh, he came in the chat, <laughs> and he said something to fish, riled him up. And then I had to block fish. I had to get him out of here. He said something stupid. So, yeah, it's a little too much. Yeah, the beef stuff. I don't know. Some people are good at it. They like doing it and stuff like that. I guess it brings views and, you know, controversy sells. Look at the Diddy stuff. It's all over the friggin' place. And, yeah. You know, it is what it is. But um, I commend you for trying to stay away from that. I think you should stick to your uh, your talents and not deal with the nonsense. Honestly. Yeah. No, I got to I gotta stop saying it and do it. I got to start fucking around with my talent and, and try to improve and do something different, yeah. man. Because... Uh, this shit can only last for so long, and I'm not trying to do the beef stuff. So I gotta really uh, work on my craft and try a different angle with this thing. You know. Listen to me. You, if you have talent, right? You use the talent to benefit you, not other people. Yeah. So you use your talent to benefit other people. You know. You keep saying this whole thing. I told you we're gonna get together one day, and we're gonna we're gonna really figure it out for you because you got talent. You just. You get held back by yourself. You're your own worst enemy. Yeah, I've you heard that my whole life, actually. <laughs> enemy. And listen, so am I. I'm my own worst enemy in areas, too. But, you know, like, I, I'm not going to say, I, you know, I'm perfect. I'm far from perfect. But I try to, um, you know, like, I try to keep things in, in my lane. Like, I don't like to lie. I don't like I don't like nothing getting thrown in my face. You know what yeah, I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I just, I'm not, in, I'm not into that. That's why I get so offended when people say shit like that about me because i i don't have to lie i you know i really don't you know my the things in my life were the way they were and that and that's it you know it's yeah it is what it is so you know i come on here and hang out with you and talk to these guys and all the other people because if you notice the same people that were riding when we first started you know i first started coming on here they're still riding with you you know what yeah I mean? yeah all the same people and you talk to these people every day so you could take your talent and bring it anywhere, you know. You could do anything, you know. This, this, this isn't a mob genre, to be honest with you. I mean, not they anymore. May, there may be mobs of people that are fighting with each other, but it's not a mob genre. It's, it's, it's a genre. You know what I mean? That's what I call it now, the genre. I said, don't come around here calling it that other fucking word, you know? Yeah, it's not. I mean, it really isn't. It, you, you can't even say that. I mean, you know, you got guys like. Uh, Joey Molino on here and stuff like that. And, you know, they're telling stuff and then people calling him a rat and this and that. I mean, I, I don't I don't believe all that stuff. You know, I just I feel like, you know, maybe the guy wanted to come on and, and make money to, to, in the new way of making money. You know, so I don't I don't knock anybody for doing it. I don't get mad at people for doing it. I don't get mad. I get mad at people when they lie. Yeah. You know what I mean? The other day, somebody <laughs> called me up and I saw a Rob Jean. In another chat with a green avatar oh. with an armor on it. And that <clears> ball. <throat> yeah. Fucking um, And also, I heard that I was in your chat one day 
and somebody blocked them. So they must have seen them also. I don't know who it was, but I think they were in your chat also using my knee. Yeah, because you have a wrench, so it's easy to spot, you know? Uh, right, exactly. So it, it, it's weird. Like, you know, why would why are you coming in using my name, like, and, and stuff like that? Well, probably name? Fish doing that, fucking weirdo. Yeah, but, uh, you know, what What do you gain from that? What, you think you're going to get people mad at me? Like, yeah. who's going to be mad at me? Like, what, what, what do I do? You know what I'm saying? I come on here, I, I bullshit with my friend. You know, what, what do I do? Yeah. You know, we, we laugh, we have a good time. Those are the good shows. You know what I mean? The the, the drama shows and all that other stuff, they, it gives you grades, bro. It stresses you out. It's annoying. It does. Yeah. You know, it's not, even, it's not even the kind of thing that you could grab and shake. You know, it's it's something that you know it's somebody on another in another coast or another this or another that. You know, now I hear people are fighting, getting getting ready to meet up and fight or stuff like that. I heard or something like that. You know. Oh yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> what is that going to bring? You know, sentences. You know, like what? Do, who wants that? Yeah. You know, you want that from, from YouTube. It's uh, it's stupidity is what it is, really. I mean, I'd like to see some guys get tuned up, but, uh, you know, they got it coming. And uh, the guy that's threatening to do it is the right guy to do it. But uh, yeah. You know what? I really don't, but I really don't want to see people get tuned up. I really don't. I've seen so much of that in my life. I really yeah. don't, you know, over YouTube. That's like me no, and you fighting yeah. over the other couple and, you know, like you throwing, like, soda in my face or something. Or, like, you know, it's it's... It's corny. It really it's definitely is. stupid. Yeah. It's corny. It's embarrassing. I see people, you know, talk shit about it and then they're doing it the next day. And, you know, like the drama just keeps on getting bigger and bigger. Certain people, I got to commend them. They got away from it. They try to get away from it. Yeah. You know, they still might do little digs here and there at certain people and whatever, but it's all in, in fun. Like if people can't take this, if people take this too seriously, they really need to get a life. Or some you know fucking I mean? mental help therapy. I don't know. Yeah, they, you know, you need you need some help. If this is this this consumes you to the point where you gotta come on here to defend your honor, you this, you that. I mean, that's a problem. You know, yeah. that's a problem. There's old there's a there's a guy in his fucking fifties and sixties, whatever. He I never watched his show before. He's not really in this 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 thing, but he's like causing all sorts of drama. And I know the guy. And he's one of the guys that comes and goes in shows and like causes drama. Like yeah. that's what he does. He's a retired sanitation worker, and he goes and he and he does this trauma. And he and he's telling me and he's laughing about it. And I'm like, uh, yeah, whatever, you know, this, this, <laughs> and that. But he don't do it. He don't really do it in this community. Like okay. I didn't realize there's a lot of communities like this. Like there's like yeah. video community communities and this and that and you know all that. You know, Anatoly, I like watching, and, and, and the Jula guys and all that stuff. I love but, the Jula guys. Yeah, yeah, I watch yeah, that they're too. Great. They're great, you know. But yeah. um, it, it's just, you know, that stuff's fun, you know, because they're doing something. And that's what you need to do. You need to do something, yeah. you know. Get, get, get out from behind the fucking avatar. Like, you, you yeah, need yeah. to get out there. You know what I'm saying? Like... You could do what other, these other people are doing too. Even like like Brett does, he goes out there, he, he he does stories, he goes goes to places, you know, like that. Mooney Dash came. I don't think he does that no more, right? He stopped doing it. No, he disappeared. I don't know what happened to that guy, but uh, you know, Crime Spot, he's got his own lane. You know, he does it his own way. Right, and, uh, you're right. You have the talent to do stuff like that. You know what yeah. I mean? You, got, you know, you got. You gotta just you gotta broaden your horizon. You gotta you gotta invest more of yourself into you, not yeah. into the drama. Not into, into the drama. channel. Yeah. You know, dr yeah, drama sells, but so does talent, bro. So does talent. Yeah. You know, I, I, I went to um Friday night, I went to um a friend of mine, he like uh he gets like dancers for like videos and stuff like that. I don't want to mention his name. So, but he gets like dances and stuff for like music videos and like, you know, like ballet and all. And the people, the girls that came, the, the dancing thing was like a ballet thing. Like it was like real deal ballet, but like in street clothes. And these girls were incredible. Like yeah. they were doing ballet, but like, like I'm not really into ballet, but they were doing <laughs> ballet and stuff. And I was blown away, like how you know they can move their bodies they could they could twist they can do you know spin around on their toes like i'd break my leg 
But <laughs> You know, it, it was yeah. it was amazing to me. You know what I mean? And in the place, there was a bunch of dogs and this and that and all this other stuff. But everybody was so entrenched with what this girl, these girls were doing, and not in a sexual way, but in a holy shit. Did you see what this girl did? Yeah. Like it was it was it was amazing. You know, like that's. And I said, and and they do YouTube and stuff. Like, and they have their own community. It's like a dance community. And you know, my friend's um, daughter is big into that stuff, and. You know, he said a friend of his, they were doing auditions or whatever. He asked me to go by, check it out. He said, I'm like, I'm not at the ballet. He's like, yo, you got to see these girls. He's like, they're they're amazing. And they were. They truly were amazing. They have a studio right off of um, the West Side Highway. And um, they had these, these, they had like 250 women there that were trying out for the, for 40 positions and it was not, it was probably like not nah, probably like 500 women there, like trying out for 40 Jeez. positions. Yeah, and they were listen, even the, the bad ones were great, you know what I mean? So, there's so much more like the you can't get caught, you can't capsulize yourself, you have to, you know, you have to expand the bubble, you know what I mean? You do, you really have to expand the bubble because, yeah, this is, this is becomes a flat tire after a while. Yeah, no, I feel you. Yeah, it becomes a flat tire after a while. You know, everybody's chasing after the same thing. Everybody's fighting with the same pe different people this week, different people. It's like a soap opera. It's played out now, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's corny. <laughs> it really is corny. Like I watch some other people's shows sometimes. You know, just quickly or whatever the case is. And sometimes they got good stuff that they're talking about. You know, but then the, the drama stuff goes in, and then I have to, I, you know, I turn it off because I'm sick of hearing the same drama. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just, it gets played out. You know, well, after you two and a half years of the same shit, I mean, the same characters with the same beefs. I mean, it's one yeah, sport. Yeah, it starts to seem like the WWF. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of it is put on. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of it's you know, one week this guy is friends, and then in a month later they're friends with this other guy, and then they're fighting, and then they're, 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 they're doing this, and that. so it's like your friends are your your enemy sooner or later, and your enemies are your friends sooner or later. It's not the way it's it works. Weird. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, it's just not the way it works. Um, I got a guy here from Bath Avenue who wants to say hello to you. Wait, all right, hold on one second. I'm gonna yeah. step out for a minute. Okay, okay. Hey. What's up, Beth Avenue boy? Hold on, he had to step away for a minute. Where the fuck are you, Costco? I'm in fucking BJ's. BJ's? You looking for a BJ and BJ's? BJ's by Caesar's Look at that shithole. Imagine having to work there. What a nightmare. Fucking BJ's. I applied for Home Depot like 15 years ago. Thank God. What are you doing, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, smoke. What's going on? Who's looking for me? What's up? I got Trump Capella here. Drum What's Capella? up, Trump? How are you, Drum? Oh. Ah, he looks familiar. Yeah. Yeah. He looks familiar. I think Mr. Gene might know him. He's a neighborhood boy. Ah, we lost him. He's in uh he's in BJ. He's looking for a BJ. Really? Yeah, but he says uh, he's from Bath Avenue. You know, he said well, growing up in the neighborhood. I forgot. He he'll tell you, but he said you know growing up in the neighborhood wasn't uh wasn't that bad. It wasn't like you know, if you're not looking for trouble, you're not gonna find it. You know. That's true. Also, I mean, there was a lot of people. I think he's like a musician or something. Yeah, right? yeah, he is. Yep. I mean, those people, you know, musicians and stuff like that, they stayed in their own lane. My friend Dominic, he was a cop. He was a, he was also like a, a, a bass guitarist and stuff like that. So he wasn't really in no drama. But, yeah. you know, um, drama is for the people who want it. I got to be honest with you. You know, like, if you're going out to clubs and you're causing all sorts of chaos and doing this and doing that, you know, that's, that's how it goes down. You know what I mean? The, the drama is... The drama it's yeah. gonna happen you know i was a punk i'm not i'm not gonna ever you know say i wasn't i was a punk but you know you grow up yeah you grow um, up man. the stories i've heard about the neighborhood i mean i thought it was like the fucking wild wild west but he makes it sound like it was a safe neighborhood he kept his doors unlocked you know 
I don't know about all that. You know? <laughs> yeah. I kept my door unlocked. That means I was waiting for somebody to come in. <laughs> So, I don't know about all that, but maybe, maybe his experiences were a little different. How old yeah. is he? Uh, I think he's in his fifties. I mean, he might, he might, he might even be sixty. I'm not sure. Really? Yeah, I think he was up more by Gravesend. I don't know. Yeah, he looks familiar. He does. He looks very familiar. Yeah. Oh, he's originally from Kings Highway, but he lives on Bath Bath Avenue now. Oh, Kings Highway. Yeah, we didn't like them too much. Yeah, we don't like Kings Highway, boy. We didn't like the Kings Highway boys too much. Yeah. But, you know, it's, um, he does look very familiar, but, but listen, I had, you know, regular friends too, you know, like I didn't, one of my friends, Rosario, was fucking valedictorian at Princeton, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. now he's telling major companies how to spend their money, you know, like I didn't, wow. I didn't only, you know, I, I stayed with a lot of different people because, you know. You didn't always want the drama, you know what I mean? And when yeah. you wanted it, you went out and found it. You know, it, it, that's just the way it was. You know, if if listen, when your stomach is touching and, and you're hungry, you got to yeah. go out there and do some crazy stuff. But when you're working and you don't have to do that, you go out there and you get into bar fights and you get into this and that, you know, and stupid stuff. You know what I mean? Thank God when I became the age to be able to make money, I was making money. You know, so, you know, it's it's different. For, I guess everybody's upbringing was a little different. You know, some people had, some people didn't have. And, you know, some people did different things. I told you, I was, I was a nerd with the reptiles, bro. I had friends that were heavy into the reptiles. I hung out with them, you know. Like, yeah. I, I had all different kinds of friends from different places. And nobody, like, ever told me who to hang out with or not. But, you know, I, I walked to my beat of my own drum, no pun intended. But Yeah. That's, well, that's good. You get it. you become cultured that way, you know. The uh, worldly. Yeah, you know? Look where I started. I started out in the Marlboro Projects, bro. I mean, my grandparents were the only freaking white people there. <laughs> but you know, I didn't know racism back then. Nobody would walk around and call me a white boy or nothing like that. Yeah. You know, I, that's you know, I the, the, I used the N word more than I used anything else. You know, like it's yeah. just the way it was. You know, but now it's a different world. So. You know, I'm not going to use that with people who aren't my friends because I'm not going to take it the right way. Yeah. You know, you got to be, you got to know, you know, how to talk. You got to know how to correspond with people. No, definitely. So, I mean, that's why I think that, like, a guy like him who, who had talent and, you know, has talent and does whatever, like, with the music and all that, I respect that. I had friends who did that. They used to like play at the Salty Dog and stuff like that, and some of the other places. I can go, you know. Yeah. Even though I wasn't allowed in most of the places, I can go. Uh, Nita says you have an Edward pass for her. <laughs> <laughs> so that's different. She's my friend, but you know, yeah, that, it's different. You know, I, 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 when I go to the projects to see my friends or go, you know, go see the old lady and stuff like that. Or go pick up my nephews or whatever the case is. Like I, you know, I, I, if I don't talk like that, they don't even know who I am. You know, like yeah. I get abused. You know what yeah. I mean? Like my own friend abused me. Oh, you hang out with the whites too much. Negative. <laughs> you know, but it's just you, you, you gotta, you gotta surround yourself with the people you want to be around. You yeah. know, like it, that's the way it is. I'm friends with some of these people since I'm in the diapers. You know what I mean? So. They're, they're fair. I told you, I take care of two kids. Their brother, the, the, the two fathers are away. Yeah. They're away for, for, you know, they killed their brother. And, you know, they went. One was going to be a doctor. The other one was, was close to being an athlete. And they, I told you, the bookie guy heard the, you know, killed the brother and they killed him. Yeah, so, I remember you telling me they, that. Yeah. yeah, they both bought big stretches and, you know, they got kids and I don't want their kids getting, becoming that, you know, so... Uh, when Uncle Rob comes, people scatter because they know I'm grabbing them and they're coming with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah. That's just the way it is. Like, you know, I, it, it's it's. Listen, I I don't I don't see color. I think I think I told you this before. I think racism is a weakness. I don't I don't see color. I, I love black women. I love white women. I love Chinese. I love every any woman that has a yeah. good personality, a good heart. You know, a good smile, a good this. That, that's me. That's that's how I was brought up that way. You know, but living in the projects, you know, when I moved to New Jersey, I 
only hung out with the one black kid, really, that was in my kid. He was the one that was always at my house and stuff like that, because everybody else was a racist. Yeah. So, you know, like, it's it's tomato, tomato, but it's different, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just, I'm not going to go into, you know, when I'm in East New York, it's different because I got friends there and stuff like that. So I talk a different way with them. But if I didn't, they would, they wouldn't know me. You understand? Yeah. So it's just the, you know, the way it is. And, and to them, you know, that's how we talk to each other. That's just the way it is. You know, like I, when, when I'm with, you know, other friends or when I'm with like business people and stuff like that, you don't talk that way, but I'm a chameleon, bro. You would got to adapt. You have to adapt. Yeah. Yeah, you got to adapt. I mean, you know, I'm not going to just run up into bed sty and start screaming the N-word. No, <laughs> no. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. not an idiot. But, you know, like, when I'm in the projects, that's my home. That's where I'm from. You know, the old heads, everybody knows me then. So it's like, you know, that's how it is. And they don't, I don't get looked at differently. I was never bullied because I was white or nothing like that. So, you know, I didn't know racism until I moved to New Jersey. Yeah, and everybody there was a racist. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't uh, know. I, yeah, people don't yeah. understand. You know, growing up in New York, it's a melting pot. You know, so you grow up around yeah. all different types of people. You have different experiences. Somebody in New Jersey or some other state. You know, New York is you're all on top of each other. You're all around each other. You go two blocks down the block, it could be a West Indian neighborhood. You right. go north, it's an Asian neighborhood. You know. Well, look at look at Borough Park. It's right next to to where all the Muslims are. They hate each other. Yeah. We call we call we call McDonald Avenue uh, Gaza Strip. Gaza you know Strip. I mean? <laughs> it's between where all the all the Jewish people are and all, and all the Muslims oh, are. Oh, there so you we go. Call the Gaza Strip. Yeah. But you know, like it, it's it's I don't know. I just feel like the 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 racism stuff. I can never play that thing because I got two nephews. You know, not not blood nephews, mm -hmm. but. They're my, they're like my kids, you know, like they're, yeah. they're my, my kids. And if anything ever happened to them, I don't know what I would do. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. and they're, and they're black, you know, so there's no way around it. And the people there, when they're young, when they're calling uncle Rob or whatever, like the cops are the racist there. When I go there, the cops, pull, every time I go there, I get pulled over by the cops. What are you doing here? Buying what are you drugs? Doing here, white boy? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing here, white? You know, and then, then the people start coming out and abusing them. You know, now some of the cops there know me, but it, it, it's just, you know, it, it's corny. To me, the yeah. racism stuff and all that is corny. I can never, I can never do that. I, I don't have that weakness in me. No, yeah. You know what I mean? I just don't. You know, my friend just came. I told you, the, I have a friend that he, he did 18 years and uh, he came out. First place he came was to see his nephews because he never met my kids. And... I couldn't find him for an hour. And where was he? He was in the, the chubby neighbor next door's house with the two white chubby people next door. His son's a cop. She was feeding him. He was eating in the house. <laughs> he was eating in the house. She she needed help moving the couch. The guy moved the couch with one arm. You know what I mean? So I, I just, I don't know. I, but when it comes to that stuff, I'm not really a good uh, good spokesperson for that because I don't really believe in racism. I'm just yeah. not that type of a person. You know uh, what I mean? We all we all bleed yeah. red, bro. Trust me, I've seen exactly. The what happened? Bro, who, who's your friend that pays? Who's your friend that pays the shit for? Who's the pen? What? He's got a, your mic is muffled, man. <clears throat> is that drum? Muffled. This is drum capella, bro, yeah. Who's your, who's your friend no, he played the bass. Dog. He played the bass guitar, Don Body. You know the kid, Don Body? Oh, Don huh? I used that to play the salty song. Oh, okay. Oh, I gotcha. I don't know why. Where did you? Where did you used to like play? I used to play the dog by myself. What do you say? He said he used to play the salty dog by himself. Oh yeah, really. Fish used to play with himself too. <laughs> <laughs> Poor fish. <laughs> Fuck fish. Oh, uh, boy. You know that cocksucker went into Pizza's chat about a week and a half ago trying to stir the pot, trying to get people to turn against me. Talking about guns, <laughs> he's tough and this and that, bringing up my name. 
and like nobody took the bait, but still, you know, this fucking guy is trying to cause problems for me and other chats, like get people to attack. But you, know? yeah, but you know what it is. So what you gotta do is you gotta x that out of your life. You gotta just delete that person completely. You gotta keep that person out of your. Yeah, he's a cop. You know, he's you gotta keep him out of it. Yeah. Yeah, you got it because what happens is it just a person like that just keeps causing issues for you more and more and more and then yeah. You know, He's spinning words. He's turning things around. He's, yeah, he's you know, a real fuck. Yeah. But you know, I, I don't. I don't know That's what right, to say Roro. about him. Yeah, Roro says enough. fuck fish. That's right, Roro. Yeah, Roro. Rob, you, when you snap his shit up and bring him to, when you snap his shit up and bring him around, get some food. What do you <laughs> I think he said, "What are you gonna slap me in the face and take me uh, home with you?" I don't know. You want know, some guy? Maybe. Oh. That's not what I said. I said, "When are you gonna snatch him up and bring him around for some food?" Oh yeah. You no, know, that's what I gotta do. I gotta drag this guy out. That's what I gotta do. Yeah, we can hang out. I yeah. Drag him out. I gotta drag him out of clean. Yeah. Give me an excuse to show off my car, you know, come out there, hang yeah, out. There you go, big shot. BK <laughs> knows my nephews. Who? Shaolin, he knows my nephews. Oh, God. Shaolin knows your nephews? Yeah, and he knows my nephews and my friend Ronnie. He knows, he knows, he knows, he knows we know the same people. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he, know, he knows um, a couple of people that I know, too, I think. We spoke about that. He's from. I think he's originally from Brooklyn. I think he yeah, moved he to said. Staten Island when he was younger or something. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, that's um, it's a small world, especially this neighborhood. You know, if yeah. you're still around for a long time, everybody knows everybody. He's gonna come in here in three seconds. You guys are talking about me. Shut the fuck up. I'll beat you up. <laughs> Nah, is he? Nah, he is he still doing that? Yeah, he's, he's still talking that bullshit. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's still talking that bullshit. <clears throat> yeah, don't say. Don't he to say, don't say his name here. He'll show up. Yeah, because he's always watching. What's up, Rosemary? Hello, Thank Rosemary. you, Tato. Um, <clears throat> what else, drum? What, what else? Do, what do you play? Yeah, tell him drum? something good, drum. I play a bunch of instruments and sing. Uh, you used to see Rob's father around, right? You said he was like a no not nonsense kind of guy. I told him I went to his brother's restaurant. Oh, you've been to my restaurant? Yeah, I did. I told you. Remember, I told you me and my friend used to play the Golden Gate Inn. <laughs> oh, that's right. The GGI. Uh, we used to go there when we before we were even old enough we to uh, drive. Oscars. The, kitchen, the name of the restaurant the kitchen, was Oscars in the Golden Gate. Yeah, Oscars. Yeah. I remember. That's a long time ago. Holy crap. Time, well, my, my friend Dom knew, but I didn't know that Sammy owned it. Yeah. My Aunt Rita played. My Aunt Rita sang there. She used to sing with, like, one of those big groups. Yeah. Um, you don't sing any Rita? Yeah, a little. Rita, little, 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 little my boy's asking little, Rita who? Little blonde lady Rita. Papa Bianco. What's her last name? I think it was like Capa Bianco. That's a Capa Bianco? Thing. Yeah, she had a married name and then yeah, yeah. older. She's all older than us. Yes, yes, she's older than us. Yes. Right? She was a singer time. Like yeah, she sang a bunch of different stuff. She had a beautiful voice. Beautiful voice. She's still alive, but she has a beautiful voice. She was a little short blonde lady. I, there was yeah, like, I mean, a, like a well-known group that used to always... I forgot the name of the group. You probably remember them. They used to do like all the weddings and stuff like that. The somethings. They were like pretty well-known. Huh? Yeah, she's from Brooklyn. She played the Walker Theater a lot. She played the Walker Theater a lot. My boy's asking. Yes, yes. But yes. What, was the name of that, what was the name of the group she sang with? She sang with like one of those... like. My friend that I'm with right now, the top player, my friend for you know forty something years. He, he he used to play with his his cousin uncle, Uncle Tony, his uncle Tony. And what was the name of that like group thing? Well, do you remember that name of the group? Mm-hmm. They had like a group. I forgot what the name of it was. So long ago. She has a daughter, Jen, and her son is a DJ in Vegas. 
there was, uh, there was so many different names. There, there was there were all these Italian bands like FBM, and we we used to say it was called Five Bad Musicians. And then what was the other one? MG, there was a band called MGM. We used to call it More Guinea Music. More Guinea Music. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, this was like the somethings or the, I don't know. They were like pretty well known. They did a lot of these clubs and stuff. I was young. I was little. But I remember she used to always go there. And my mother used to watch her daughter. We lived in the same building. And uh, we used to, she used to go and do her music stuff. And the father was a guitar player. He was like a, a, a he, and a school teacher. My father. Uh, he, Got his name. Yeah, my bad, my memory. Whitehead Bianca. Uh, Chicky, thank you, brother. Oh no, no, no! Hey, so it was Capadano. The last name's Capadano. Capadano. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Gangster. You said gangster guys. Uh oh, Mike's in trouble. No, no, Mike's not around. <laughs> I'm so busy. <laughs> What was that drum? She did she date the guy from where down? From, uh, from the liquor store from 75th. She dated the guy from the liquor uh, store that was like 75th. I don't remember. I don't know. What about the Wind Jam Motel? You heard of the Wind Jam Motel by Steven? Yeah, the Wind Jam. The Wind Jam. It was the shit back then. Yeah. That and the GGI Golden Gate Inn. The Golden Gate Inn. We used to play there like what four or five nights a week, right down. Yeah. We had a whole team there. I used to call it the seven in. <laughs> <laughs> Nita, that was very sweet of you. Thank you, Nita. Nita, baby. She's the best. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. Oh, they all love you here, man. They miss you. You got to come around more often, Rob. Don't disappear. Yeah, now. you know, you know what goes on with me, man. It's crazy. For a minute there, I thought maybe uh, you got your butt or something. They told you get off this fucking YouTube. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Somebody told me no. He wouldn't get his butt now. He wouldn't do that. Yeah, <laughs> that uh, now, but I got jeans, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm just breaking your balls. <laughs> well, so my, my buddy here's in, in, in country. What's the name of your company you work for? Uh, I really don't want to say. Yeah, he don't want to say that on, on the air. There's oh. a lot of freak shows out here. Yeah, I don't need the issues. Yeah, yeah he, my, my, my friend has a construction company. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That must be nice. They've been around a long time. Oh, really? Well, this guy Rob. When I was with King, maybe we dealt with the Scarra Cement Mix. <laughs> Scarra Mix was a long time ago, man. Yeah. Scarra Mix was a long time ago. Uh, that's what came to mind. What else, I don't know. What else goes on, bro? Where's Frank? He's in the chat. Is, Is he? he? What are you doing, yeah, Frank? Up, Frank? He said hello. <laughs> oh, up, I, can't, I can't see the thing. But yeah, me and my me and my buddy were talking about starting a public. There's this Facebook group called Benson Hurt yesterday and today, and I told him I want to start a podcast and bring all those people over and go on location for people who now live in Bumfuck, Iowa, and feel like show them all the old places. So if they go online, like, remember that restaurant that used to be on Street L and B? I'm like, what do you mean used to be? Where you where you fucking been? Where'd you move to Egypt? Frank, you're right. I'm sorry, John. Frank, the calves were big with uh, the Venudos. That's who he's yeah, talking the about. The calves yeah, used to the do it too, yeah. They're on the cow lips. Oh, yeah. the I went to school with one, of the, one or two of them. So is that, did she play with the cow lips, your aunt? No, 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 no. No. Oh. She was all. No. Yeah, because we, we used to call them the cow lips because they all had big lips. Yeah, <laughs> the kid John, the younger one, the one that's my age, he lost his marbles. His hair's like blonde now and shit. He's a weirdo. <laughs> He's a rock star. Huh? Yeah, this is David Bowie. What the John and Sal? Yeah, the Caliph's younger brother. His Caliph's younger brothers was Sal. His name is Sal. 
Right. They they made that song uh the me and that right? The the Italian song. They, they didn't make it, but they did. <laughs> they did it, but they didn't they didn't they weren't doing it. Uh, the guy who wrote the guy who wrote it just died. He was eighty years old. Togo Man. Oh, oh yeah, Toto can too. He's the border winner by Toto, right? In Italy, he came here. He used to do shows here, right? The Cotillion Terrace and shit? Yeah. I'm thinking of Alessio. Oh, Alessio. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So long ago, and I'm so old, I don't remember. Yeah, me too, man. I forget everything. So your brother your brother probably would have been about my age, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. He'd probably be. Would he be like 15 now? Uh, yeah, he'd definitely be around. Yeah, so he's my age. Yep, yeah, he'd be in the sixties. You, but you, you knew my, you, 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 did, you yeah. knew my other brother too. My friend Vito, I met him through a bunch of times, and he, he was a nice. He was very nice. You'd never know. <laughs> yeah. you, know? you never know, and man. Of course, of course, your father I seen in the neighborhood around Angelo Defenders and stuff like that. Yeah, but he was not nice. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't nice at all. Hey, Rob, Mom, you heard of this Angelo Defenders? Uh, yeah, I know who Angelo Defenders. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Yep. He was a boxer. Mm -hmm. Angelo Defenders. Yeah. That was my father's friend. Good guy. I don't know. He was on Avenue. He had the club on Avenue on West Sixth Street. Yep. Like off the corner, where that is, there's like a, I think a fucking road in it. Well, Pete, should be. Yeah, not not by piece. Not not no. No, you could be Pete. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, the Pete right. was in was eighty six. COVID, right, Joe Joe Pisa died of COVID. But right up the block from your cousin's on the corner, right? With that Where? No, I'm talking about my friend. Oh, no, that's not my friend. That's not my cousin. That's my friend Joe's. Uh, oh, Joe's. Yeah, Joe's place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking Brooklyn. Yeah, back then, it was Joe's clam bar was pretty good, too. <clears throat> Yeah, I told I told you about that. That was my cousin Cork. He was the gay waiter in there. We threw marriage, but yeah, so I, I don't have any, I don't have any bloodline. Corky the gay I'm waiter. That's nice. He reminded me of Rip Taylor. Rip, Rip what's that guy's name? Rip Rip uh, Rip Taylor. Oh, that, gay, gay, that gay Canadian. No, the Rip Taylor. Taylor. Yeah. The blonde guy, the crazy guy. Yeah. They used to call him Eddie Gooch. They, they, they called him Eddie Gooch. That was his nickname. Eddie yeah, Gooch. the Gooch. The Gooch. Yeah, oh, we yeah. used to we used to have our restaurant in Joe's. We didn't like Rendazzo's. We weren't friendly with them. But they lasted. They lasted a long time. They outlasted everybody. Rob, you know where we are? Yeah, Rob, we're right, we're right close to the Marlboro Projects right now. Are uh, you already going, Alan B? John no. <laughs> That's it. I ate <laughs> A round flight the first time in years. What? I don't know. <laughs> what? Go to Da Vinci's. I know. Yeah, the Vinci's is the best. Da Vinci's my favorite. No, there was a wait for the squares. So I. Da Vinci's? Yeah, Da Vinci's. Yeah, Da yeah, Vinci's the best. Yeah. 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 See, we're Pizza wagon ain't bad either. Pizza wagon. Different. We're still in the neighborhood, Rob. Pizza wagon, you like that place? Yeah, yeah I'm real quick. Yeah, that, that ain't bad, Rob. That's Don. Do that's that's Tom. I don't know if you know him, uh, Rob. You can look at him, see if you know him. But he's in the construction business too. Tom, hold on. I remember that mug. Let me see. Hold yeah. on. Tom. Put on your glasses and your shoes. I gotta put on my glasses. I can't come to fuck you. <laughs> How are you, Tom? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet did, you, you. Did, you did you ever deal with kings? <laughs> yeah, we're robbing all the time. Yeah, that's <laughs> why I, I built that business with them. It's for him. It's called the uh, cousin Phil. All of them. We built. Phil, I used to do before that. Phil. Phil. <laughs> that's my little. That's my little brother, Phil. That's what they used to we used to call. He used to say I was his big brother. Yeah, just, just, just mention, just mention to 
said he don't know who I am. The who? Just mention what? Chase Masonary. Chase Masonary. Oh, Chase. What do you mean? I know Guy very well. Where's Guy? Right. He's doing all my shit with him. Where's Guy right now? Right now, right, right now, it's oh, 5.30. All right. Uh, yeah, guy, guy knows me well, too. Yeah? Are you oh, kidding okay. me? Guy knows me very well. I went to school with Guy. He's a good guy. I mean, he had a little rough spot, but he's a good guy. He's a good Guy's guy. a good guy. Man, he just celebrated 14 years clean last month. God bless him. Thank God. Good for God him, bless. man. God bless. God bless. God bless. You know, when he was sick, he had, he, he had a, his mother, uh, he was a, he was a guma, and, and that's how he thinks he was born. So the other day he said, he, I, I told Gunsmoke, uh, Fish said, yeah, I could have been made. I said, you are made. You're made a fucking mobster sperm, mobster human. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe. I'm going to leave you for a second. I'll, I'll be back on the phone. All right. Drum, 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 kills. Right. Drum, kills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was made a mobster splooge and something else. <laughs> he kills. Who's that? Are you kidding? What are you doing, eh? Hey, you got Rob Jean. I had a great right. jump on say hello. I just want to jump on say hello. To you, man. How you been? I'm all right, you know. Uh, holiday sucks to me, good? but, you know. Nah, yeah, it's not for me good, too. No. I hate the holidays more than anything. That's yeah, what I just mean, wait for my daughter that kills me. You know, uh, yeah. my daughter, my mom was away, so I, I you know, yesterday I didn't do nothing. Actually, I went dirt bike riding yesterday. Oh, uh, good. So really good. good. That's a good Easter. Yeah, yeah. Where do you, you go? Know, Where do you go on the out here bike? on the island? Out east, we got a couple of spots out here. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, a couple uh, like old, like a uh, lot. I guess there's a sand pit out there, you know. I, I'm not giving up away by saying that. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are, there's so many of them. Yeah. What do you What do you ride? I don't have a bike now. Yeah, 250, a couple 125s, RMs, oh, you know. Yeah, CR. Easy. Yeah, there's a CR, um, a Honda. You know, just just to get out and do something. You know what I mean? Just it wasn't, nah, it wasn't hard, that bad uh, yesterday weather-wise. But, yeah, it was nice yesterday. Yeah, yeah but you know, the dark bike, who even cares if it's shitty out? It's, oh, no, no. Yeah, just bounce around, fucking bat, hit the trails and go, you know? Yeah, that's fun. But, I like uh, that. Yeah, it just uh, I haven't been in a while. It's probably, well, probably two years. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I got nothing going on today. I'll come out with you, you know? And it was it was good. It was all right. She you know? good. I'm glad you had a good time. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, I, I, you know, it beats the shit out of you. Like today, I was a little sore. You know, I forgot. I'm fucking, yeah, those bikes, are, those bikes are made like qualities, cause those bikes are made God. there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that. Was, that. I was trying to picture you on the bike. I'm like, I don't know. I'm trying to, well, yeah, I, I ride the Harley, but yeah. I mean, uh, you know, uh, yeah, it's been a while. I kind of forgot, you know. And I was a really, you know, hitting the thing. I was, you know, doing my thing. Nothing crazy. But, you know, I woke up sore as a motherfucker today, though, you know? Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I used to do English Town a lot when I was a kid. I was Did you, hey, Rob, did you ever go to Unadilla back in the day? No, I'm what's saying? that? Unadilla was uh, a big uh, uh, dirt bike thing back in the day. Dirt bike races. It's upstate New York. Uh, and we would go every year. It was just, there was a place up there called Animal Hill. And, bro, it, it was... I'm telling you, we burn a fucking place down up there. A dirt bike racing, you'd be right on the hill. They'd be flying by you. It's crazy. I'm surprised you we never go, heard of it. If you get a chance, we go to, to Google, Google. We go to George's, we, where you got to leave the money in the mailbox or call the cops on you. <laughs> That's where we go. We yeah, go, this was like it? a sanctioned yeah. race. Yeah. Yeah, like English Town used to be. Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, they fucked English Town up, man. I, I mean, yeah, I can't believe there's not a straight track anywhere. They even closed uh, the one in uh, Maryland. Uh, what the fuck was the name of that one? I can't think of it. That's why you got to take the bikes on the airport. You got to go into the airport and ride on the strip until the cops come. Yeah, bro. right. Bro, exactly. Right. I'm not yeah. trying to give it up, but there was a certain yeah. company that used to make fighter jets that was at a certain place way yeah. out of Long Island. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Yes, Yo, I lived in Vegas for 25 years. I lived in Vegas. Where? I lived in Vegas for 20 years. I was out of here for 20 years. Oh, oh really? Yeah. 
Trump I mean, is going to kill on here, bro. You were killing the last couple of days, bro. Who? You. Good Trump. stories, funny. Yeah. Lefty, Lefty's chat last night, there was like 30 people. Really? And like, yeah, like at four in the morning, we had a blast. We had, we had a lot of good conversation. There's a lot of good people on there. You know, there was, there was yeah. a lot. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah, that's actually, like, Lefty's good. Charlie over there? I told I told Lefty I said you know I I told you I asked him I said did you know that uh, fish was part of a fucking Native American tribe? Oh god! <laughs> the top part, his name was yeah his name was Chief IP sitting down. What did he write the book? Uh, too hung low by IP Daily. Is that yeah, the yeah. guy? <laughs> no, you remember, Rob. Remember, listen, listen. So, so Fish goes and mentions. He goes and mentions somebody that's like basically part of my family, right? Because I told him I'm still I'm on bad daddy. I still live over. I was on my big forty first between bad and bad. So, okay. I, so I thought that I said, you know, and he mentioned somebody's name. I, I, he didn't. I don't know if he meant to, but he did. So I went and showed her the video of him on uh, Loomis' show because I have no idea who the fuck that is. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, he knows me? I have no idea who the fuck that is. <laughs> and the crazy part is, I, you know, I knew who his mom was, but I didn't know him. You know who his mom was? <laughs> his, mom worked, his mom worked at the Espinog. Yeah. Oh, the Espinog. Holy shit. Yeah, that was on Crouchy right, right before the bridge, right? Um, yeah, but on Bay 50, it's right. Uh, yeah. you make it right on 86th Street, yeah, of course. Of course, yeah. I remember that. Off, <laughs> well, I hung out, I hung out with Pat now because I, I was in third grade. Oh, really? Yeah, so you're, yeah, you're older. They were, older yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm 60. I'm 60, yeah, yeah, yeah so you're older man. Yeah, my, me, and my, me and my boy Don just talked. So we, we were playing music since we were like together. We used to play together since we were like fucking 12 or 11. That Bobby, that was her, uh, Rita's ex husband, Bobby. Yeah, he, yeah, see, he knows, he knows fucking, Don knows all of like the attacks. He, you know what I'm saying? They're off the boat, you know, his, his family. Yeah. And so they, they knew everybody. I mean, they all knew that whole town and community. I, he knew people I didn't know, you know? Yeah. Remember the remember Pips the uh, the comedy place next door. Oh, the that's where Andrew Dice. That's where Andrew Dice Clay stopped. Yep, yep, right next door to the restaurant. Then he came to the restaurant and ate. Yeah, the, the, I tell you, your brother. We, you know why we went to the, you know why we went to your brother's restaurant? Cause fucking the food in the Golden Gate sucked. Yeah, we had good food. We had really good food. Really good food, actually. Yeah. My father was a stickler for that. If it, if he didn't like it, it got yeah. sent back. <laughs> no matter send what, send it back. Send it back. Send it back. Wow, I was yeah, I hit that fucking dead spot over here. God damn it! Yeah. So then you remember my sister-in-law too, Annette? Rocco's Who? Rocco, Annette. Rocco's uh, ex-wife. I didn't know. I didn't. Her father ran that little, uh, you know, the bazaar that they used to have over there. They had that little bazaar thing, like it was like a little outdoor thing. Her father used to run that. What the fuck? No, I guess yeah. not. That you, they drew a blank. <laughs> We're like, what the fuck? We don't remember that boy. You don't remember the bazaar? What do you no, I'm gonna fly in for a minute, don't smoke. Uh um we were talking about buddies, the, the the place with the rides. The little remember the little bazaar when you went past the restaurants and then in the to, to the left there was like that little bazaar where they sold all sorts of stuff in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually my, my it's, 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 that's funny because I went to Sizzlers. Oh, I didn't, I didn't like that I mean, we went yeah, to Sizzlers I mean, one time to eat. And I was with my ex-girlfriend and my mother bought a, a ring for her. And, and I saw her recently. She gave it to me and said, "I want your daughter to have this because your mother gave it to me." So that was that where that bazaar was. <laughs> yes, yes, that bazaar was right there, right off the corner. And then all the fishing boats were across the street. Speaking of fucking bazaar, that our whole neighborhood was bazaar. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> that's bizarre. 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 
it's crazy because I, you know, I, I know so many people and I know so many stories that directly tied to me and where I lived and exactly on my corner. And it's so fucking, I feel, you gotta go back and listen to some of the shows that I was on. I don't want to repeat it again, but, you know, fucking so many things were so close to home. And, you know, and, and this, I was telling the smoke that I didn't realize what happened to people and until I came, it started with this, this fucking mob thing. This, this, uh, because people, Larry Mazza was talking about this. They killed this one kid, how they killed Albie. I don't know who killed who. But, you know, Scarpa Jr. was talking about how he killed my friend Sal and how they did it. And I'm like fucking blown away. And I, I didn't know who it was. I had no idea. Yep. No idea. Well, now so they can talk a lot of light. They shed a lot of light. Sheds a lot of light on everything. I didn't know. You know? Yeah. Like Jimmy had this guy on, my, one of my father's best friends. And he puts his face up on the screen. He's got it on the thumbnail. I'm like, oh, it's fucking Big Frank. And like, yeah. fucking Frank Porco was my, one of my father's best. He was a big, big bookmaker on, on Bath yeah. Avenue. But he was at my house all the time. I'm like, what the fuck? He was a gangster? I thought he was a fireman. But it turns out he was a fireman and a gangster at the same time. Yeah. He passed away, but. Yeah, he died a long time ago. Well, him and Westy both of them. Yeah. Yeah, I saw Louis Rioli not too long ago, and he was like, you know, Westy was my partner. I was like, I had no idea. That was another one. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Westy was a fireman, too. They were all fucking fine. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody else that was pretty big was a fireman, and nobody knew what he was, you know? <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, well, 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 look at that. What was that one guy who was a corrections officer? Fucking, uh... uh yeah. Vitality. What's his name? Yeah, his brother-in-law. What's the fucking name? Uh, <clears throat> That's gangster. Messino's yeah. brother. My pal. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Go back. Gunsmoke. Right. What's up? Huh? What's up with you, Gunsmoke? Not man. You know, surviving the ghetto. You know, just you chilling. Didn't help, you couldn't help yourself with the fucking come on, come in the face. God damn it! What do you help yourself? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing you need to do is put it on speaker. God damn it. Uh, Angelo's club that you're talking about was on West 6th and Avenue. In the U.S., yep. In the U.S., right. Right off the corner. Yes, it was. What's up, corruption? Did you ever used to go to the wrong number? No, I, 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 I knew Joe Baldy from, like, like, like when there was a funeral at Cusimano and Russo. Yeah. Like, we'd walk over there, and my father would say hello to Joe Baldy, and we'd go sit in there and have a few drinks in between the the, man, the wait. And so that's the only reason the only time I didn't see Joe Baldy. I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't really know you guys. I was, listen, I wasn't, I wasn't white. I was, I, you know, I, when I was a kid with Pat Malby, I was a street urchin, a fucking street kid. Got no kind of mischief with them. Crazy stories I have about them that I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to punch them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. But anyway, but uh, I'm embarrassed. Yeah, no, but, but anyway, so, uh, you know, no, that's the extent of it. Like, I, I was, most of the shit I did, even the fight, bro, I never had a fight in my neighborhood. That's what I put on the I, I was fighting with kids from other neighborhoods. You weren't a punk. I no, a I was a musician. I was into music. I was into wrestling, martial arts. That was it. That was my life. Did yeah, you go to any schools over there? What's that? Where did you practice the martial arts? In China. My brother had two schools, one in Hawaii and one in uh, San Francisco. How? In Hong Kong, Kung Fu. But I originally studied, I know you were in Louis Negri. That's what I originally studied with. Uh, a lot of people do, do deal with him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something about that neighborhood. They were like obsessed with Kung Fu. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, Louis Negri used to do drugs with my brother. <laughs> yeah, he he did well with that. He did, but he's still doing well with that. Yeah, I think, uh, wait, it, his school's not there anymore, though, right? He moved somewhere else, right? Yeah, he moved it somewhere else. But I know a couple of people who train with him, with his uh, at his place. Yeah, the guy who I went to later, he was in Park Slope. His name is Mike Miracano. He was just talking him to him like it was just two irons. And started hitting people. That's what his stands felt like. Yeah. My I, kid, used to, I used to do Tai Chi in China, China, Chinatown all the time. Tai Chi? In that, in that park, yeah. I used to go to that park. 
And I just touch, touch you with the little penny, please. <laughs> Remember the park over there? Everybody would be doing Tai Chi in the park. Did you do it with all the old Chinese ladies? Little Chinese ladies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. And then I went to the school right across the street, right by that big golden thing, Master. Uh, King King Rob Master King. King. I could see Rob Jean going, get out of my way, old lady, before I fuck the table for you. <laughs> nah, they'll beat the shit out of you. They didn't play those old ladies. Yeah. You, you didn't want to get in their space. Where'd Tavernace go? He keeps dropping off. I don't know. He's in a bad spot. He's on the uh, belt park? Uh, Kung Fu and Cats. <laughs> Come <Kung> on. Fu. <laughs> That's my motto. That's what I live Kung by. Kung Fu and Cats. <laughs> These people yeah. live to break my balls. Yeah, good. That's uh, the fun. Yeah. I told I told Gun Small guys match them up, man. Come down here. Let's you know get everybody together. We'll go out. Yeah, yeah definitely. We'll yeah. grab them. If, if nobody wants to go to a place, you know, that's visible, I told Frank, if you want to come in too, if you want to go to a place that's off the beaten path, there's a good pizzeria on Crossy Avenue. A couple of little spots we can go to, nobody will bother you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's up, Joey Kanish? Every time you say that, I want a Kanish. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I haven't had a Kanish in years. Joey Kanish. My grandmother used to love eating that stuff. I like Kanishes. Yeah. They got to have mustard on them. But... Yeah. I mean, I never go looking for one, but if it's if it's laying around, Rob, I'll eat it. That, Rob, I lived in Staten Island for five years when I got back from the Lake Coast. Where are you in Staten Island? I'm, uh, I'm close to like... um. I'm by, I'm on Toad Hill. I was around the block from Little uh, Crown. Oh, really? So you were right by the bridge. I was in Old Town, yeah, Old Town. Yeah, that's nice over there. Toad Hill, boy. <clears throat> have you uh, have you seen Castellano's new house? The way it looks now. You been up by that way? You're talking about I don't know. Stupid question. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm just making Rob conversation Rob. here. Huh? That's the question for Rob. Yeah. I'm going to shove a condition up somebody's ass. What the fuck happened to Rob? God damn it. He just hit the big 50th exit and lost the signal. Probably. I'm going to shove Toad Hill up somebody's ass. What happened? Oh, we lost you for a second. Yeah, I know. I got another phone call. I'll be back oh. in a little bit. You're going to take this. All right, brother. All right. I'll talk to you in a little bit, Drum. All right. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Yeah. All right, brother. Yo, uh, Smoke. Yeah. Did you come on. If you're up at night, come on, lefties. It was really a lot of fun last night. Uh, I listened for a little bit. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't hear you on there. Uh, yeah, we were on there. Oh, yeah, I was on there. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I was listening. I a gig, and then when I got off, I got on for a minute, and then I went on the train for like an hour. Yeah. And then when I got off the train, I went on again, and I was walking around my neighborhood showing them where I was. Yeah. And then uh, and then I went back on when I got home, and I was on with Lefty for like literally till 5 in the morning. Yeah, I was listening for a little bit, yeah. Which, which as you know, are not my hours. <laughs> But I drank so much caffeine that I couldn't fucking go to sleep. Shit. Yeah, we got to get you guys down here. Yeah. I, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of history over here, bro. Yeah, definitely got to take a little stroll down Bath Avenue. A lot of history. Yeah. yeah. Not everywhere. I mean, it was everywhere. King's High Avenue. I mean, I'm on Avenue every day. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know. I drive around my neighborhood. I'm like, damn, everything's changed so much, you know. Like, I don't know. Do you feel that way when you drive around Bath Avenue? Like, things have changed a lot, or it still relatively looks the same. I don't drive anywhere, but I walk everywhere. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's a lot of things have changed. But you know, listen, the people that are here are very peaceful people. I'm telling you. Yeah, you keep saying that. I don't know. It sounds like nothing but murder and mayhem over there. Or at least well, it used to be. <laughs> Yeah, that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. I'll go to my grave saying that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe you, you should be what? like, uh, you should become like a congressman or something. Like, this is a good neighborhood. We got good yeah, right. people here. Well, we got we got a council lady now. Her name is Susan Zeng. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Over here, too, we got the same shit. Yeah. Uh, what do we got, though? Belt parking lot. That's what they should call it, Kanish, the belt parking lot. Yeah. That's ridiculous. When I, park, when I go to work in the Rockaways, oh my God, it's insane. Wall for wall. Yeah. Uh, Kanish says Bath Avenue is nothing like it used to be. No, no, no places, but it's not bad. No. Yeah. It depends what you like. I like a quiet life. So for me. Yeah, me too. I walked up that damn my whole life, and I knew everybody, and I knew, and I, I was never uh, assaulted by anybody or accosted or forced to do anything or try to guys to recruit me in the mob. I, I yeah. don't know. That's me. I wasn't involved with that shit. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I I, I guess I had like a warped view of it. I guess from what you hear. Everybody on here. That's I why just, they got to you know? I pictured, like, I don't know, 20, 30 guys on every fucking, every other corner fucking hanging out in front of a social club, fucking. And there were pockets of kids on the corner that were yeah. troublemaking. Sometimes, maybe if you walk by them and you said something, they'll give you a hard time. I mean, saying nothing, you just walk by them and bother you. Yeah. You were part of the scenery, you know what I mean? Yeah. Those were the days, huh? The fucking... Yeah. My father did his shit, and uh, but there were always people at, in and out of my house, at my house, in front of my house. But nobody ever fucking bothered me. I never got, I never got fucking harassed. You know? Yeah. There was no yeah. reason, there was no reason for me to get in trouble. I just want, I wanted to do my own thing. You know? Yeah, I definitely would have got in trouble if I grew up over there. I would, I would have got sucked into the trouble. Mm -hmm. You know, there were a lot of good kids in our neighborhood too. Though, from that point. Seriously. Yeah. They weren't. They weren't all fucking bad kids. There were a lot of good kids, you know, and I, all my friends were good people. Man. Yeah. No, I was a dumb, impressionable kid. I hung out with him, uh, a lot of morons. Getting Listen, in trouble back I then. hung out with a lot of kids, musicians that were on drugs. I never did drugs. I never even tried weed. I never did nothing. Really? I was a big, big drinker. Yeah. So there you go. It's a fucking stereotype. That's the way I you guess. want. That's the, route, that's the route you choose. That's where you yeah. go. No, I always stayed away from the hard drugs too. Only weed, uh, but the the hard drugs, I never ever did none of that shit. My friends did it. Try it or sample them. I didn't care. I didn't yeah. Play my Wasn't music. My and I yeah, I feel you, dog. I wish you found out early. You had a talent for something, you know. Uh, where's uh, where's uh, Frank? Frank, he's too good for our show right now. He doesn't want to come on. He's uh, he's playing hard to get, motherfucker. You fucking uh, wet this asshole. <laughs> <laughs> the Italian generation is finished. It's not finished. It's just that they don't they don't uh, congregate together no more. Like they all separated. Like I guess they just became totally American. Like you know, what else is really Italian bad. neighborhoods. Huh? Yeah, I got bad news for the Italian community. Most of my friends have been doing that. Twenty three and me. And finding out they're like fucking a quarter of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like Scottish and German and all this other shit. So Larry, like I think Mikey Scars, he looks fucking Irish to me. Uh, he kind of does. Yeah, he's got that mug. Norwegian mug. Yeah, I, I, I can't do his voice, but I, uh, no, I can't do it. But... Yeah, he does. You know, he's got that sort of face. He could pass for an Irish guy. Anthony Tamanese seems like a good guy. Oh, he's a great guy. I hung out with him before. He's a great guy. I told him we got. He's gonna come when we get together. Oh yeah, you definitely get along with him. Yeah. No, he's, he's a class act. That guy, great guy. Uh, Jeffrey, went out to dinner, had a good chat, time. Something in the chat left you chat. You said said I sounded like Anthony Anthony Tamanese. You kind of do. That's why I feel like you guys will get along. You guys kind of like talk alike and. Uh, hold on, I got another character here. What do you want? Hey, what's up, folks? What's up, bro? Hey, hey what's up, Joe Capel? Really nice <laughs> show. Um, nice to hear Rob Jean back. You know, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, that was a shocker. I was surprised. I thought he was boycotting my show. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> this guy? What did he get his? Nah, man, life happens. I get it. <laughs> yeah. 
What's up? What's up? What's up, guys? Where's um Mark Schumacher? Oh, somebody said he's uh, he's back up and running. He's got his show back. Oh, oh really? really? Yeah, I gotta check it out. Man, that's the best news I heard today. Yeah, I knew he couldn't stay away. You better not be big fucking big. April Fool in my ass, right? Oh yeah, that's true. I hope you're not April Fool in us, you motherfucker. Whoever said. Hey it. man, April fools, man. Come on. <laughs> Stop playing jokes on me, man. It's not <laughs> funny, man. It sounds like that you're actually in a truck with the window open. It does, right? Like <laughs> he's driving, yelling. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. No, I didn't think I didn't, I didn't think Rob turned on me. I just thought he was. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah what the right. I, I get it. He doesn't come to the restaurant. I'll tell you, he's like one of those Iraqi guys. <laughs> One's a gyro spot, and there's one down the block. You know, where you being? Yeah, I see you I going to that restaurant. I see you. Yeah, right. right. That's, that's funny. I did a gig in uh, Astoria last night. I get there, and there's these two fucking old people set up on the fucking corner with guitars. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? They're like, oh, I don't know. You're supposed to be here. I said, I know. What, what, why the fuck am I not? So it turned out that they had another restaurant up the street. And that's where they were supposed to be. Oh, so okay. He had set up all this shit. I had a lot of shit, too. I bring one little speaker. They had all this fucking shit they didn't need for this little bar. And they fucking, they made them tear down. They went to the other restaurant. Then at the end of the night, they put my check in the wrong name. So I sat in the corner, like, hard-nosed and going, but I ain't fucking leaving till I get paid. <laughs> of course. So the boss, she, she texted the boss, and he venmo me the money. Nice. Okay, they're probably fucking like they were. They were. They were tight right there. So this guy's gonna take a gig. Yeah, and then I was a fucking lefty all, all night. I never stepped out late in my life. <laughs> what kind of gig? What were you playing? In Queens, it was a restaurant bar. Right, right. What kind of music? I I, I just play with my guitar my, myself and a loop pedal. I don't know if you know oh, what a loop pedal. Is. Sweet, that's good. That's cool. Step on a little pedal thing. Everything from like fucking Bruno Mars, but to Snoop Dogg to fucking uh, you know Eagles, really? yeah. Top forty, uh, or... whatever decade, right? I do my own versions of shit. It's really interesting. Okay, you improvise. You need Tony yeah. Silo to help you out with the singing. Luck be Ooh. a lady, Tony Silo. Tony Silo, Tony Silo on the silhouettes. The uptown I'm funk, gonna give, give it to you. <laughs> Uptown girl, light up a DVD with doopy boo. Uptown girl, she's a stupid idiot living in her fucking world. This version of my way. Yeah. <laughs> I did it I, my way. Schumacher's version was fucking crashing into a fucking Arby's. Listen, whether you whether you guys like the frog or not, I sent Lefty a link yesterday. I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to you, Smoke. But the frog got Joey Dimes mask. And he made up this song on the spot about Tony Pizza that was fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna send you a link, Con Smoke. Okay, all right. You're gonna love it. Stanley Pepper's boy. Uh, fucking, no, listen. Lefty was laughing like a fucking crazy. He's like, oh my God, that is so funny. What's he up, said, Sean? Same time. Yeah. Uh, Sally, uh, Sally Pepper's boy. Sally Pepper's boy. Trump and Capella should go on Angel Show and punk her as Schumacher. Yeah, pretend you're Schumacher. Like, yeah, I don't watch this show anymore, you know. I'm only here because I want to talk about pizza. She had a crush on Joe and Molina, so I'm going to go, how are you doing? You know, my father there, he fucking, uh, you know, he put 10 people away. He fucking his mother, someone met with his son, that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he talks. Joey. I fucking, I fucking, uh, uh, fucking, fucking rats. <laughs> yeah. It stinks. Oh, uh, yeah. What's, yeah they, Sean, you were on Lefty Show. There was only like a couple people that I tried to get on. No, I was, he had, I was on the other channel. He has two channels up. Yeah, oh. who, who was on the channel? JC and somebody what, else. He was on the channel that said Lefty. Yeah, not Lefty. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody see uh, JC's um, interview? Yeah. I was on with JC. I was busting his balls in the chat. Yeah, really 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 busted his balls. He was really nice to me. 
You yeah. know, he could take it. You know, yeah, he handled yeah. pretty well last night. He answered your question. <laughs> Uh, well, I heard some of that interview. It was pretty good. It was unprofessional. I mean, yeah. I told I told him in the chat. I said, "Hey, uh, JC, can mm. you come in and throw some fucking rabbit ears and, on my roof so I can get that interview of yours?" Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn. I said, JC, I need I need an antenna that can go back to 1972. I'm trying to watch Wonderama. Oh, uh, <laughs> Wonderama. Was it that that show with that one guy over there? Bob McAllister. Oh, there you go. McAllister, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Drum Capella, can you play Metallica? Do you know how to do that? Yeah, of course. Carmine was asking. He's a Metallica boy. We got Sean Crosby here. I think he's fish. I'm not sure. The other day he was saying I was so metro, so handsome, so well-groomed. And only fish tells me that, you know? So I don't know. He's got a point. That's how fish uh, flirts with me, sick fuck. Uh, How's the weather out there in Seattle? Shit. Um. All right, not bad today. Only not bad. Grayish, and then little sun. That's about it. Is it rainy with a chance of sun? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's about right. And um. Around this time, I bought May, it clears up, and then our summers are really beautiful. Well, I played up there. I played up in the Muckle Shoot Casino. Oh, I know what it is. Sure. Wow, you played all the way in Muckle Shoot. Well, I was living in Vegas. You played in the Muck. I gotcha. I gotcha. Philip Henry, thank you, brother. Love your show, Smoke. Thank you. I, I need to hear that sometimes. From time to time, I need to hear that. Thank you, brother. It suits my ego. Down this neighborhood at all, in, in, in Bensonhurst or Grayson? I I did not much, and I used to come there. It depends on on the occasion. I, like I had cousins that lived down there. Um, they lived by St. Dominic's Church. Twentieth Avenue. Yeah, right, right, right there, across the street, the candy store, and then around the corner. When your cousins knew all my friends. Huh. When your cousins knew all my friends. Oh, there you go. Now you know what was that. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yep. I guess uh, Rob hung out there too. I didn't even ask him if he knew my friend Frankie. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Frankie who, cuz Frankie who? <laughs> he's probably this guy's probably you know know more people that than I than I did over there. You know what I mean? Like these guys have more in common. That's what I meant. I remember that place, Matt. Hold on. What? Let's let's hear from uh, Schumacher. Hold on. Sure. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He's got the piss cup and everything. Tony Peace is going to take a break tomorrow. He hasn't. Uh, he's been working hard all hard all week. Sounds hard. Uh, take a nap at ten o'clock in the morning. Four hours. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Three in the afternoon, and he calls that a hard day, right, Tony? Right, Tony. Hey. Yeah. yeah, Tony boy. Tony boy. We work hard for our grift, don't we, Tony? You talk a big talk, but you do jack shit. <laughs> really hard work there, isn't it, Tony? What you do all day? Sit there and scratch your head and scratch your balls and slap <laughs> Leon around and won't let him look won't let him look out the window or have any kind of fun whatsoever for a dog. You chain him up like a prisoner, don't you, Tony boy? Thank you do your fucking hey, This guy's sick. One more, one more. Hi, hey, Tony boy. Hey, hey Tony boy. Tony, you, uh, get a little extra money. You sniff up your nose <laughs> and get like what a forty-five minutes sleep for the night. Then you come back and do a show while looking like shit. <laughs> when Sun Grown gets a little extra money, he puts it back into his ranch and makes more money with it. And you want to call him a traitor, U.S. traitor? Pizza, you got a lot to learn, buddy, about morality and life in general, pal. 
The guy fought for his country, Navy. Honorable discharge. He lives in a beautiful ranch in the California desert. <laughs> what, do you do? <laughs> what do you do, pizza? Run from fucking hotel room to hotel room. Chasing a wet dream. Chasing a wet dream. So those are the... No, uh, Phoenix, those are the most uh, recent videos he's put up. He put up two new videos. What no, no offense. You thought it out. I thought he was describing you. Yeah, I know, right? I was like, what the fuck's wrong with that? You got a problem with taking a nap at 10 a.m.? I'm up all fucking night. The fuck? Gee. Don't he needs his own show. Yeah, he does. Well, he's got his own. Well, he could. He you know what I mean? When he sits down, he does the yeah. weather, the news. <laughs> Hey, here's your weather report. He gets a special guest. What's up, Marky Mark? Yeah, get the food. Hey. Tony Pizza always has a fresh haircut. I don't know. If if Pizza doesn't shave for one day, Schumacher will say he looks like shit. Uh, what up, Scott H.? Yes. I, I see like I see like fuck I I never met somebody who uh, did they ever meet? Probably not. Uh I, I doubt think, it. I don't think so. He has like a fuck of fascination, you know, for uh He's obsessed. Tony Peach, yeah. Yeah. I think he'd fall in love if they met, you know. Yeah, the new figure skating together. He'd be tossing up fucking pizza on the ice skating ring. Figure skating. Well, pick you out. Let's go ice skating. I'll buy you ice cream, you know. Oh, come on. It'll be like Rocky and Adrian and Rocky won. They met each other at the Ice Capades auditions. Jesus Christ. Ice Capades. <laughs> I used to go to the Ice Capades as a kid. They had like uh, huh? Sesame Street, some other bullshit. You used to fucking uh, watch Elmo fucking skate around? I guess. I, I'm trying to remember if it was Elmo or Disney characters or what the fuck. I don't know. I was a little kid, like three years old, no, boy. I don't think 18 was a little kid. Come on, Kenzie. No, yeah, okay. Yeah, 18. <laughs> they didn't have no more ice capades by the time I was 18, boy. They don't even have the circus no more, boy. Blunt Smoke and his friends used to fucking sneak into the ice capades. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, I'll drop the link for Schumacher right now. He could come on. He don't watch my show. I don't even think he knows I exist, okay. to be See, honest. Yeah. That'd be epic. Somebody said you guys were looking for me. What do you yeah. want? I'm busy, you know. Gun smoke. Yo. Play, play that link I just sent you in your chat right now. You're going to fucking die. You're going to die. Oh, boy. We'll get to the bottom of your bullshit. Let's see. Frank's going to fucking laugh his ass. <laughs> it better be good, boy. Hold on. No, it's not great. Oh, wait till a few people get in the room. I got a <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Just so if you guys don't know, this is, uh, I guess, Joey Dimes in the pizza mask. No, it's not Joey Dimes. It's the frog. Oh, this is the frog? Joey Dimes gave him the pizza mask. Oh, he gave him the mask? <laughs> he passed it over. <laughs> but he makes his phone up on the spot. Yeah, that mask has like special powers, you know. Go listen to the song. <laughs> All right, hold on. Looks a little itchy. He's scratching himself. It's amazing how that mask works. Ugh. He's picking his nose. He's picking his teeth. Uh, that's enough people. I got what eighty-four people in two minutes. <laughs> that's good. Uh, yeah, that's good. YouTube gold, I tell you. Uh, well, here we go. I'm gonna tell you a story, just a little story about story. Uh, a true story about me. Okay. Yes, it right back. Can you hear a tale of a young punk Irish brat who eventually grew up in a foster home and eventually became a rat? <laughs> eventually became a rat. <laughs> All he watched was my movies and memorized all the lines. <laughs> then he started bullshitting everyone that he was in the life. I am in the life. 
Silicon Valley the boy. Man, I started getting rough. Dog Leon needs to eat. On YouTube, I began to beg, saying, I'm living in the street. I'm <laughs> living in the street. <laughs> uh, donations started piling up. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait a minute. That was wrong. His choices were to go to work or beg on YouTube all his life. Donations started piling up in this beggar's enchanted way of life. Enchanted way of life. <laughs> With Banjo and Leon too. Homo Muggsy and his wife. A slew of simps supporting my drug habit. Here on Amelia Isle. <laughs> Here on Amelia Isle. <laughs> Jesus, this guy makes the worst enemies, man. That was good. That was good. This guy makes the worst enemies. <laughs> they get obsessed yeah. with him and they really start fucking with him. Watch it. You have to watch it. He <laughs> gets <laughs> sick fuck. He's got the mask on. Pizza's Island. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Great song. Hey, hey there, I'm losing you. I can't always, oh, let me let me get back to you. Huh? I'll get back to you, son. Just fucking get these all fucking calls and shit. God damn it. All right. All right, drunk. All right, brother. All right. He said here on Amelia Isle. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, OG Mike? Great show the other night. Was it last night? You have a solid week too, brother. Make sure you got that pocket sand, boy. Shouts to OG Mike and shouts to Loomis. Great guys. The frog. Eh, eh. I knew if we mentioned the frog, he was going to show up. Eh, eh. Oh, he's back with pizza now? The frog? Really? No, not really? exactly. Not exactly? No. <laughs> you sure? Eh, eh. The frog is back. I guess he made peace, huh? That's good. Whatever. Yeah, they, they're funny for the genre, Marky Mark. Yeah. Eh, eh. What would the genre be without pizza and uh, these type of people? I don't know. Yep. Uh, Farmer says, grab the wheel for a few. I got to take a dump in the bucket, you know? Oh, my God. Uh, I never put on a mask. You know, the mask is woke. You woke boy. Uh, I don't know. It's been two hours. Maybe I should just get the hell out of here. I don't think Rob's coming back. Frank doesn't sound like he's coming back. Huh? I'm going to start doing song parodies and send them to you. I'm going to record them and send them to you. Yeah, make sure they're good, boy. Make them sound real good, boy. Are you questioning them? No, no, no. I'm sure you're very talented. You're very talented. Are uh, you following? <laughs> trying to follow me? <laughs> Pizza Boy used to hitch rides from Schumacher in the truck they shared a shit bucket. Oh, Jesus. Hurry up. I got to go to you. No, oh, it's coming out. Oh, I can feel it. Hurry up. I just shit myself. You happy, Pizza Boy? You're too lazy to fucking get up and go to the bathroom. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Well, you got to walk. I don't know. He's in a big parking lot, I think. Who knows? Look, let him shit in the bucket if that's what makes him happy, you know. That's what makes him happy. <laughs> yeah, whatever no, floats in his boat. No. Schumacher and Pizza are like that movie Step Brothers, I guess. Never put on a mask another man wore. What the fuck? Yeah, I thought it was weird because it looks like it goes in your mouth and stuff. I don't know. Uh, it might be one that Joe had laying around that was newer. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they cleaned it out. I don't know. I doubt it. But who knows? Uh, Captain America. I think we're cool. I don't know. I'm cool with him. I ain't got no problem with him. Who? Uh, uh, the pizza man. I don't got no problem with him. I'm it's sure he's... I don't think he's mad at me. I don't know. He might be. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, but I told him, you know, there's no bad blood. He just, uh, you came in here, you did the wrong thing, and I had to take the way to wrench. That's all. No no hard feelings. He understands that, I think. Well, didn't you say you had somebody call your house? Uh, no, he didn't. Not recently. 
<laughs> uh, that was like two and a half, three years ago. But no, nah, I don't think he did that shit. No, nah, he's got bigger fish to fry. He ain't worried about me. So who was it that recently? Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, I really don't know, but I know the most recent one was that fuck MRE the week before my grandmother went into the hospital. I don't know who that is. The Nazi boy. You don't know the Nazi boy? God bless you if you don't. The neo-Nazi homosexual with the, the, the rat stuff and the chomo stuff. You never heard about this guy? You said Maureen. Not Maureen. What are you, nuts? No, not fucking Maureen. I said MRE. Oh, no. <laughs> God damn it. No, no. Maureen's good. No, no, no. We didn't say nothing about Maureen. Stop. Oh, you said MRE. It sounded like you said Maureen. No, no, no. I got a speech impediment. That's all. And I'm deaf, so it doesn't make a good fucking bedfellow. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't. Hold on. Somebody's bribing me here. I got to play it. Let's see if he. I, it might be an April Fool's, but I got to take the risk anyway. Uh, I'm going to play the Basta video real quick, if you don't mind. Uh, I'm not gay, but $25 is $25. Uh, hold on. Uh, I could play part two also. There's a Basta part two. You guys don't know about that. Where is Basta? I can't even fucking find it. It's been that long? Oh, here we go. All right, here's Basta for you, boy. Tony, how about this? Admit that you like me. No. Admit that you like me. I don't know if I like you. Basta! <laughs> Basta! I know you fucking like me. I know you like me. Don't bullshit. Because we get along privately, we get along. Yo, did you learn this today on your psychology show? What psychology show? Are you impressing your fucking woke friends out there? The fucking, the, 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 the new normal, the cancel culture? Is that who you're impressing with this fucking talk? Right. Listen. You're talking to a real fucking man here. You want to yeah. be in a mouth, well, God. Why don't right? you act like a man and stop acting like, then start and acting like a man. Start act like a man. I'm talking to you and saying, let's I am watch acting this. like a man, you fucking homo. Now I'm a homo? Yeah, you're a fucking homo. You paid that woman to fucking marry you. Yeah, you that hold on, you hold on. Me. Enough, enough. Basta, basta. <laughs> fucking wife. You, you cut the shit. I'm out. You're a fucking, fucking jerk off. You, you vapid piece of shit. You know, you have the massage, protecting your family, the the, the death con for all that bullshit. Okay, on on just because I have a friend as a security consultant. Head. Hold on, hold you on. I got a friend as a security consultant, and I seek out his advice, and he does an executive protection. I reach out to him for advice. That makes me a jerk off. That makes me a jerk off. Faster! Faster! What a fucking jerk off. <laughs> I love what he says. What is this, a psychology show? When you hear, you hear Tom in the background, what's psychology show? I felt like that yesterday when I was watching, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jeff the Dude's retort to uh, A Light. You're trying to like analyze a light, and I was thinking, like, what is this? Your psychology show? You call him, you call him a vapid piece of shit. I love that. You vapid piece of shit. That's that's when perfect. The definition of vapid. I actually looked up the definition. He used it in the right term. He did. Yeah, he used it the right way. Yeah, I I forgot what the word means, but I looked it up and uh, he used it correctly. Uh, yeah, I, I hear you, dirty. He's not on anymore, uh, um, Tom. He's not on anymore. I don't know. He disappeared. I don't really hear too much about him no more. Yo, you guys, everybody, everybody abused him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, Do you keep, would you keep coming on people abusing you constantly? <laughs> sometimes you just got to stick it out. I mean, I've been abused. Sure, I've been abused, boy. <laughs> It's all people. Wait, wait. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, drum. What was the link that you put up in Smoke Chat? Was that is that you on that? I just that's no. That's Who the fraud. That? Oh, that's Lefty, right? That's Lefty. No, I think that's the fraud. Is it? It was on. Uh, it was on Drum's uh, Drum's thing, I think. Though. Oh wow! Hold on. Let me thank this guy. What do you get now? Wow. Big tuna I haven't seen in a long time, too. Captain America, thank you. $50. Oh, 
Wow. This is from me and Big Tuna. God bless you, man. Thank you. Strong donation, Tuna. Strong donation from uh, Fat Bull Italian as well. Yeah. Everybody that's been donating, God bless, man. God bless. Thank you, guys. God bless. Great way to start off the month. Thank you so much. That's beautiful. Come on, look at this new talent we got on here. I mean, come on. Drum Capella's killing. He's giving you Bath Avenue stories. He's giving you comedy. He's giving you a He's giving you impersonations. I mean, you would think it was the real guy. <laughs> Yeah, he's very talented. Mink, you can, can he see it? Does it matter? Mink, you got my best personality. My best impersonation is this one. Hey, Mo, what are you bothering me for? Get over here, Don't... porcupine. Mo? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's Come here, awesome. porcupine. Why I order? I ain't got nothing hey, to complain Mo. about today. Why I order? Why I order? Captain America, you're the man. Shouts to Big Tuna. Hey, Drum, nothing better than Mo uh, crashing Larry with a, like a 10 pound sledgehammer right in the head. <laughs> or, or a pipe wrench or a two foot pipe wrench, you know? Love that shit. shit. You know, we watched that as kids, and guess what? I've only hit like two or three people with a, a two foot pipe wrench. I mean, I haven't hit any more than that. I mean, you, you would think I would have been hitting people left and right. And, and to my credit, I've never hit anybody. With a uh, eight pound sledgehammer, not in the head, anyway. Not, not recently, not lately. Oh, listen, I I have not been influenced by television. So, wow, Drito Five K, good to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. You see, smoke, they're coming back. I know they're coming back. Coming back. What up, the Gusta? The Gusta, I saw. Yeah, these people. They're coming back around. Hey, uh, Drum. See that, drummer boy. Drum, know, yeah. Comes and goes. Big Tuna sleeps with the fishes now. No, say it ain't so. No. Hey, yeah. Smoke, you got to, huh? uh, we got to, uh, we'll go down and I'll grab you and we'll go down and uh, we'll see you. Yeah. Then, you know, on the drive, good. <laughs> well, you know what? I'll park at your house. Hey, Drum, oh, you there? <laughs> well, you're driving. Yeah, I'll get a ticket this time. Yeah, yeah, you cocksucker. I'm yeah, sorry about that. that. Dollars. I know, I'm sorry, bro. I, I should have yeah. warned you. I forgot all about yeah. that fucking that light. Yeah, yeah, I know you did. I did. I what the I fuck. Know. Yeah, yeah, just like, uh, yeah, okay. You're supposed to drive 10 miles an hour in the city, okay? Yeah, fuck the city. <laughs> you might as well um, get a horse and buggy. Where the fuck can we eat? There's a couple of good places up in Bay Ridge, too. Um, fuck, I forget Aww. the name of it. Uh, anyway, we're, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go soon. Um, yeah, we'll go down and see Mr. Drum. Can you hear me? Drum. Yeah, we yeah, hear you now. Hey, Drum. Right. Yeah, I want to get uh, get smoked together and come down and have that dinner. Like you know, not just talk to us. We've been out. We me and Fat Bull the Tang took smoke to uh, the park side. So I figured, which it is. Uh, you, you might you're familiar with the restaurants up in Bay Ridge, right? Yeah, of course. Um, what's that one begins with C? Compagnes or something? Come. Uh, it's on a corner there, fuck across from the church. Very good. I, I've always liked eating there, but we'll we'll take your word for it. Wherever you say, uh, we'll go. Wherever you say, is good. which restaurant are you talking about? Capania. That's it. Up in on Bay Ridge on Fourth Fourth Avenue, I think, or Fourth Street. I think they open up a Capania there, but I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of restaurants. I mean, Bay Ridge. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. You, whatever you, whatever your call is, well, we'll go with that. Um, <laughs> This guy says I'm hustling you guys for free dinners. Nah. Hey, you know what? God bless. Uh, I don't yeah, mind. God bless. I want yeah, to I'm take gonna, it. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna uh, conveniently forget my uh, rubber banded money this time. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'll be forced to pay. I'll bring my credit card just in case. Yeah. Smoke. You don't want to go to L and B? Oh, we can. Uh, you want to go to dinner? Or you want pizza? I mean, we can do whatever I mean, you guys want. I don't care. I mean, I'd like to try L and B. I heard it's not all that, but yeah, it is. yeah. But I'm, don't don't listen to that. It, it, it's it's good pizza. Yeah, They're amazing food too. It's not just pizzeria. Yeah, and how about that tiramisu? Uh, what is it, gelato or whatever they have? That fucking yeah, yeah. rocks, man. It's like three windows. It's three windows with pizza, Italian ice, and then sandwiches. And, and, then, outside, and then, right? Yeah, an inside restaurant with the fa- all the great Italian food. Yeah, you could eat inside there too. I mean, it's kind of known for you know eating a square pizza outside. But yeah, yeah we I forgot about that uh, drum. We could go in there too. Right across the, I mean, the weather's getting nice. Right? The restaurant has a full sit down restaurant, full menu, yeah. full everything. Great 
Hey, uh, Drum, do you like uh, John Stelly there on Stillwell on the corner of 86 and Stillwell? I love John Stelly, but that's not John Stelly anymore. That They sold it to Greeks years ago. My friend Rob owns John Stelly, and they're on 13th Avenue now. 13th, right, right. But that one there, I ate there not that long ago, and it, and it was yeah. still pretty good. Not bad. It's it all. It changed it all. You got to go to one thirteenth Avenue, the original yeah, John's. The John. Yeah, I know that. They, uh, they got the olive vodka, uh, chicken, Parmesan olive vodka. Oh, I love that shit. I love that. Uh, I haven't had a lot of pay olive vodka in a long time. Yeah. No, no, it's just chicken, <laughs> Parmesan olive vodka. Oh, they that's got what we had last time we had dinner. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, she has a vodka one, too. You know? Do they? Yeah. What happened? Yeah, the yeah. What's that? Uh, I mean, I tried to get into Lucali's once. I got there at like 4.30. The girl laughed at me. She's like, <laughs> Fuck uh, mom. you can forget about it, she said. I said, what do you mean? She goes, the whole night, you can forget yeah, like, no right. reservation for you, boy. No, I don't. I don't think they even take reservations. I think you gotta. Oh. It's, it's weird over there. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Mark Iacono was my friend's partner in the construction. Yeah. Um, and I like that. I mean, the other one I like. I mean, of course, Da Vinci's, the forest, but you got to deal with his attitude when he wants to make pizza, when he doesn't make pizza. You know. When he's open, when he's not open. And I like the pizza wagon. Lenny's is closed. Right? Cars. Cars, they close. Lenny's cars. No more double spices, cars. No? I won't not. go to the Sorry, the, I'm the fire has got a million times for health issues. That dirty I was going to say, I was gonna say any, anybody that, if you didn't know better, you would not even, you, you would look at that place and go, I'm not eating this fucking place. I don't know how good it is. <laughs> I haven't stopped like doing since I was a kid. Yeah. I, I, I used to give him drum lessons. The son. Yeah. My daughter was taking drum lessons uh, from a guy that taught Mike Portnoy in Long Beach for a while. From uh, yeah, from Dream Theater, uh, drum. Jewish guy. And she was, uh, she did she did well with him. He's back to Dream Theater now. Yeah. What's that? He went What's that sound? He went He's back. Playing with himself. Hold on. Let's let's pause for a minute, guys. Let's pause one minute. Hold on. Row, row. Okay. Thank you so much, beautiful. It's alimony day, so it's from Sir Douche. Douche. <laughs> Way to go, Ro. <laughs> Thank you, Row, row. You're a sweetheart. Thank you. I like Ro, counting his money. Ro, I thought you were <laughs> the dinner tonight, Ro. What's the story here? It's staying on the honey made to Oaks May. Come on. <laughs> Bro, bro, you're a sweetheart. Thank you so much. And Captain America, my man. He said I had a lot of you with gun smoke uh, with you gun smoke. Oh, I gave a lot to you with I don't even know. As Big Tuna, I donated many dollars to you under that name and now I'm back as Captain America. I Captain love America. American patriots like you. Oh, thank you. God I do love Captain America. America. God bless you, Captain America. God bless my Rest in peace with Big Tuna. And Joe Batters. I haven't seen Joe Batters in a long time. Sounds like these drums in a pigeon coop or something. It does. What? He's on a Brooklyn like rooftop. Sounds like a pigeon coop. Drum like the pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> he's training the pigeons up there. Are you up there with Sparrow's pigeons? Yeah. <laughs> Streamyard sucks. Don't you know Streamyard sucks? sucks? There you go. You're perfect now. Oh, Whatever you're not doing, keep doing it. You're perfect. My my ten bucks. Alex Vella, two dollars. <laughs> Two dollars. Well, how much? A hey, hey, drum. How much we got in the kitty? What do we got in the kitty? Yeah, we got a thousand dollars in the kitty right now. Thank you. Wait. Thank you. Cha -ching. Uh, Joe Banners, good to see you, bro. Let's go to Rayo's. A friend of mine has a table. Get the fuck out of here. We can uh -oh. get... What? You know how hard it is to get in Rayo's? You can't get in Rayo's. This guy says he's got a table. We could get in during the week. Anytime. Well, when are we going? You tell you, you stay tonight. I would I'm love fine. to go to Rayo's. Talk about the club. Food ain't that good. I'll tell you right now. Really? Yeah. Don't say that. Not that good. No, come on. I tell you what, though. A pic pictures eaten in Rayo's is worth uh, worth the price of admission, I think. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. It's not easy getting hey, uh, hey, Drum, what was the good steakhouse down uh, down in in, uh, in Manhattan? What was it? Oh, Villa Ponte's. You, you remember Villa Ponte's down there? Ponte, the best one was the pen and pencil. That was the best one. Pen and pencil? I never heard of that. What was that? They bring out the fucking meat on a cart and you mark it off with a thing with this little marker. How big a piece you want? <laughs> they, bring it, the, 
they bring out the cow, the cow live and they give you an axe and they tell you hack your own meat up. Yeah, pretty much. Wow. I never heard of that one. Uh, I know Villa Pontes I liked. Of course, the Homestead was always good. I never liked Peter Lugas, though. I, I never liked Peter, Peter Lugas. I couldn't stand the weight. They were fucking nasty. Yeah, they got an attitude. Yeah. I went there one. They got an yeah. attitude. <laughs> That's I mean, how it is, you know. That's you yeah. Know. There was the place open. I don't know if it's still open. It was, it was a new restaurant. It was called the Hunt and Fish Club in Midtown. <laughs> a real good steakhouse. You mean the Bergen? No, no, My- no. That, you know, it was weird. But I don't know if it's still open. But it, it was open for a while. It was very good. Wasn't wasn't the other name for my father's? <laughs> oh, he Alta said April Fools. He son Alta of a bitch. Alta Donna's. <laughs> God damn it, Joe Batters. What happened? Joe Banner shows up once a year now on my show. And of all days, he chooses April Fools. He said April Fools. He ain't got no fucking table at Of course he don't. God damn it. I thought he had the hookup. Yeah. My father had the hookup at Rayo's. Yeah, well, you know what? I I had a slight connection there. I I know a girl that was married to that family, but they the guy the kid she was married to, it didn't work out. And uh she always promised me, yo, oh, you can come, I'll take it. And I tried to nail it down that a hundred times, it never happened. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah so that didn't work. I mean, I think the guy was cheating on her when they were she was pregnant or something. It's a real disaster. Oh, so. real nice, yeah. Yeah, he wasn't a nice guy, this guy. Yeah. But, uh, well, nice. you know, if your family owns Rayos, I mean, I guess you're that guy, you know? Yeah, I guess. Hey, how long are you going to be on, Smoke? Uh... Maybe like another half an hour. Yeah, I'm looking for a walk right now to LMB. Drum, what, yeah. I, hey drum, what, what kind of what kind of drums do you have? You, you got like a Ludwig or a Karma? What do you play? I got three kits. I got an electronic kit. Yeah. I have a, have a Yamaha custom series, and I got an old right. Premier kit. Oh, Premier! Look at you going going Keith Moon. Wow. Yeah, they actually yeah. came out. They still make drums. They've been coming out. It's actually kind yeah. of kit. It's like. Yeah, I mean, I hack around. I, I hack on guitar. I, I mean, I used to play in bands when I was a kid, but never nothing really good. I mean, I could hack around through some songs. I, I like to do it for myself, you know. Um, I'm gonna shove that more, fucking you know? phone down the piece of do. Uh, hey, uh, drum. Uh, Kanish wants to know: Do you know a guy named Mikey D? He plays the bass. He's a mailman. Mikey. Yes, D. of course. Oh, you know Mikey D. Yeah, right? I know Mike. Yeah, there you friends with him, but I know who he is. What a small neighborhood, huh? Yeah, Mike the bass player. He's whack. He's whack. I don't know. I, I don't know him personally. Like, like he's not a friend of mine, but he plays with my friends. All right. Hey, drum. Did you ever hear of a drummer Joey Markowski back in the day? No. Uh, no. Yeah, he was. Uh, where, where, yeah, he was. Uh, Mike played with my friend. Uh, Mike played with my friend uh, uh, Kim, the, the Kim Chinese did. kid. Kim Jong Young. <laughs> That's me. Kim, cream of some young man. <laughs> Where are you? From? That fucking phone. Jesus Christ! Slap it or hang something. Up, hang up and come back. Or something. Wait a minute. How's that better? No. Wait. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Like this, I'm telling you, like this. It pigeons. sounds like pigeons. Yeah, that's all I hear now. I keep thinking about those fucking pigeons. <laughs> tell Sp- hey, tell Spiro you race those pigeons later. Let me. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll come right back on. I'm going to go for a walk to LMB. All, all right, right, all right. Get us some. Goodbye. Yeah, LMB boy. You, what are you, an LMB boy? God damn oh, it. Jesus. Oh, my was- ears. Was, I'm telling you, it, it, I'm like, God damn, that sounds like if you were in a pigeon coop, yeah, sounds they would make when you was when you was up there, like right. Once you mentioned it, I couldn't get the fucking pigeons yeah, out yeah. of my head. I just yeah, 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 for picture, sure. picture those fucking pigeons in the goddamn hey, cages. Hey, if it's, uh, it's, I think he's he, he has gigs on the weekend, so if we uh, have to go during the week, it's that's all good too, you know. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll fly out to your crib and uh, and then you could uh, I jump in your new hot rod. Yeah, I, I guess. All right. Look at you. Yeah, uh, look I'm at trying me. to figure out what you got. And, of course, I, I'm not going to say, but... I'm stressing out every fucking day, but what? today... Uh, 
Right. You know, like, you know, I got fucking five years to pay this thing off. This thing ain't going to last fucking five years. Bro, listen I got to me. figure out listen something new. Me. I got to fucking listen. step it up a notch. Listen. Listen. Do these I guys got content. you. I got you. Don't worry about <laughs> it. In about a year or so, I, listen to me. You hear what, I'm, hear what I just told you? Yeah. All right. Then we're good. All right. Don't worry all about right. it. It's all good, my friend. Shit. It's all good. I put but my you faith in you. Wait, you got a five-year loan. That's beautiful because yeah. that, that just, you don't have to take five years to pay it off. No, I, no. I, I'd like to pay it off sooner than that. But um, I, I'm not, I'm ballparking it. Uh, is it in the 300 range, the 400 range, or 500 range? Where are you? Just ballpark. Uh, For the car itself? No, for the pay, monthly payment. Oh, a monthly payment, two and a half. God, what are you kidding me right but now? The insurance is two hundred too. So yeah, I know that. Okay, so it's not. Right. I, I got a good deal. It's not bad, but you did, man. Uh, it's an extra listen. bill that I don't fucking need right now, and I'm fucking stressed. Listen, out. You, do you know what? I've had a car payment of some sort since I'm 18 years old. I always have to have a nice car, one or two or whatever. That's just it. So listen, you have it's a nice car. Obviously, it's a car yeah. you like, right? Yeah, definitely love it. Yeah. Right. So if you're gonna step out and you want to try to find yourself a nice little lady friend, we're yeah. gonna do you take the bus. You take exactly. The, yeah. You take the Q47 to uh to uh, Fresh Pond Road. Come on. <laughs> Stop. You, you need it's a, a step Everybody in the right stop. direction. Yeah. It is a step. Listen. It, first of all, you're you're in a position where you can afford to make that payment, right? So that's a good thing for now. But no, if I, you know. As Let's long as I have days like this, I'm good. But what did I tell you? Days like this are few and far in between. If I can't it keep it up, a worry. And with a, yeah. with a payment like that, I I'll mean, figure out a way. You know, that's but. easy. I mean, Jesus Christ! My last couple of payments I had were, you know, in the five range, then plus insurance. And I'm not that I'm proud about it, but I mean, it's it got to the point now where you used to be able to lease a really nice car for nothing down. Um, except for maybe you know about a thousand down, let's say, yeah. Um, and brand new car lease, and you could get your payments in the mid fours, right around five. But I'm talking about you know a crazy car now, with the, since uh, after the COVID shit, yeah, that same car you could lease before that is down 900 a month. You can't even, yeah, lease yeah it's crazy, car. bro. Yeah. It was so crazy. I had a uh. I leased the 2019 Ram, right? Blackout, black everything, black rims, black it was light package, and blacked out. It's a really nice truck. Um, I had started having some bad luck with it, like little minor, like backing into shit, people backing into me. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not. I was gonna buy it, and then this guy I know says, "Hey, wait a minute, I do cars." He goes, "I had five payments left." He took the five payments and he gave me two grand. Plus, I, I had the bumper. If I turned it back in to Dodge, I would have had to get the bumper fixed. I would have had to put the insurance. I mean, how could you go wrong? So, um, but that's the only thing, good thing that came out of, you know, the COVID thing. Because usually, you take a car back off a lease, they go over with a fine tooth comb. Yeah, yeah. You know, da 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 ba ba. You know, oh, the bumper. We got to get the bumper fixed. You know, you know, how many times did you roll the mileage back? You can't even do that no more. Yeah. Um, without getting caught. So, um. You know, I, I, I wanted to buy that truck. I absolutely loved it. Now I kicked myself in the head because uh, I let that go and I got the 5W yeah. and then uh, that had an unfortunate uh, disappeared. So I came out one night and the fucking thing was gone and fucking terrible. Wow. Yeah, it was fucking terrible. So, uh, and then you saw the car I had the other the last time we were there. But yeah, and I, nice. that's not even, really not even the car I would want. It was just the price was right. And uh, yeah. But don't don't stress on a car, man. A payment like that, bro, you're all right. I just worry too much. I don't know. Listen, nobody worries more than me. I worry myself way <laughs> over this, all right? But I yeah. had to worry about it. You're worried about a car payment, so that's a good thing. Yeah. But uh, I guess. Yeah, yeah don't worry. I got other it. worries, too, but you know, this is yeah, a main well, concern listen, right now. Yeah, listen, that, that's life in general, right? Yeah, I but, guess. But Rob Gene, before, that's what I wanted to say. Fuck, I didn't get a chance to tell Rob. What he was telling you before about, you know, you having a talent. And, I mean, for the most part, there ain't much mob shit on your show anymore. Pretty. I mean, we if, if, if it's anything, we're joking around with the wiretaps, you know, in the chat or back and forth. But, um, I mean, that's not to say that Frank or Howie or somebody else, you know, can't come on with something good. Like, you know, how he had his transcripts and all that. That's really interesting. But. I mean, for the most part, I mean, even like Frankie says, he he doesn't even want to do that shit much anymore. He starts heading off in another direction, you know. Yeah. 
I mean, you know, everything, music. Uh, I mean, someone someone told me what, what an idea was. You know, just, you know, every day or once a week, whatever it is, have two new people from the chat just come up onto the panel for a little bit. Hey, what do you do? Where, you know, give tell us as much about yourself as you want to. You know, where do you, you, know, where do you live? What do you do for a living? You know, blah, blah, blah. And from that comes interesting stories. I mean, look, perfect example, Drum Capella, right? Yeah. Right or wrong. I mean, look, I mean, look what he comes up with. He lived on Bath Avenue. He's a musician. He knows people Rob G knows. I mean, it's just, that's a perfect example of having somebody else on a panel. And they, there's how many shows are you going to get out of this? God knows how many, you know? He's funny. He's a musician. Yeah, it's great content. Got, yeah. Yeah, he's got, yeah, he's got neighborhood stories. And it's from a point of view of, you know, from the outside looking at it, you know? Not yeah. from somebody that was in it. That was like the, uh, the people that um, that uh, had uh, OG Mike and uh, what's his name? That, uh, they had that guy Carmine. Who yeah, yeah, that? yeah. What is that? Uh, that's yeah, uh, I mean, drums walking around the ghetto right now. I'm walking. I'm walking around the hood. I'm going L and B. Oh, we got a video here. Yeah, we got video huh? action going on. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Let me see the video. Thank you, Captain America. There you go, drum. Yep, this is it. Yeah. Uh, the uh, stop, Marlboro Project. Stop at the store. Got an energy drink. Up to 86. The Marlboro Project's right there. You see Marlboro Project? Yep. Uh, yep. And yep. then if you go on to Stillwell, uh, Drum, and if you, off 86th Street, you make a left on Stillwell, isn't your first right Bath Avenue? Yeah, you got to go down two blocks. Little, yeah, about, yeah, one or two blocks. Um, Bath Avenue. And there's, there's, there's where I actually live right there. <clears throat> there's, there's my... Mike, this is not my corner. I live a block up. But, you just got dogs, uh, boy. What's that apartment who the fuck? building drum? Right let him come. Let let him, who the fuck come. cares? <laughs> who the cares? Come on. Come on. Who cares? I, who cares? Who cares? Drum, let me know when they're if, if, your life, if, if your life is that fucking small that you need to pick on somebody on YouTube, then you're retarded. Yeah. yeah. Peace out, Tom. Or, or, or take your time. Drum, how about the people that take the time out just to have a few that just goes on and on? It's ridiculous. There's, please, please. Like, what is, <laughs> please. Yeah, what what is is like? yeah it's, it's like childish. Hey, 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 Drum. That, look, the, look, uh, look. You see, Tavernace, do you see that, Tavernace? Yeah. yeah, I see that. Beth yep. Avenue, Bay 41st. Bay 41st. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I see that. What's You're the apartment neighbor, building bro. right across from L and B, uh, Drum? Is that just regular apartments there? No, they, they put up this building there that's such an eyesore. That's like, oh, it's offices and apartments. Yeah, the one, you know, the you, it, used, yeah. it used to be nothing there. It was just like a couple, like a little uh, auto mechanic place. There was nothing over there right. at one time. Yeah. And then if you had, uh, I guess, East. But you're going to see all that now. I'm, I'm going to yeah. be passing it around. You'll see all of it. All right. But if you had, if you go past that and head east towards McDonald Avenue, Right on the corner, that was the club Sammy had, right? The suite by Avenue X and McDonald's. Oh, right? Plaza Suite, yeah, that was upstairs. Yeah, that was a fucking. Yeah. But that was by uh, McDonald's and Avenue X on it, uh, off 86, I guess, right? Yeah, it was, it was no, it was on 86th Street. Right. I could see all the so, blood going up, kind of going up to Avenue X, it, it, right before McDonald Avenue. Yeah, 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 Avenue X will be across the street from it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you, you know, you once got... you hit, yeah, what, no, once you hit McDonald Avenue, then you make left, then you're on, on X, turns into X. And you got the train yard over there. Yeah, exactly. Parking there. Hey, did you know those uh, the the, uh, the guys that did the rap rock from uh, Brooklyn? Uh, fuck, Lords of Brooklyn. Yeah, did you know those guys? Yeah, my my one of my best friends is a guitar player. Yeah, and it's just real shame what happened to the mother, right? God Almighty. Well, go when we, if if you guys come here, we'll go see him. He has a he has a he has a shop. I ain't gonna say what oh, kind of shop. Pizza shop, don't he? No, no. Yeah, that's that's got... the singer. This the singer has. Uh, yeah, the singer. I don't got... know. He has. I go to his. I go to his place once in a while. It's uh, the Firefly. You guys send me a video from them. Yeah, the Firefly. Yeah, that's right. You remember when? Uh, you remember when fucking uh, what's his name? The fraud, uh, William DeMeo had his party. Yeah, of Gravesend. That was where it was. The Firefly. This is my party. Yeah, I, I mean, they were pretty good. I mean, that one song they had. Uh, they had a couple good songs actually. I mean, you know. Was it you that sent me that video? The the rap that they had about. Uh, I don't know. It was pretty good. With Patty, like uh, with Patty Testa, that one? Yeah, yeah, I think so. No, no, no. He's dropping was, names. Uh, that was a different one. That was, uh, no, that was the old Bill. That was a different one. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, but if it was to Brooklyn, uh, they had a where they, they had a couple. If you they got a couple of good songs, for sure. Yeah, yeah, and, they, and their mother was tragically run over, and this the door and the sister who was very young at the time was run over up in Bay Ridge. I think it was on Fourth Avenue, maybe somewhere up there, and they never caught who did it. All these years later. Wow. Yeah, tragic, tragedy, really. That's horrible. Yeah, he's they do graffiti. Uh, um, I think he's got a tattoo shop. He's a talented musician. I mean, they, yeah. they got talent, you know. It's just yeah. If you go back, you go on YouTube and look at the videos, Lords of Brooklyn, um, where the gangsters go when they die. Uh, they did a remake of Sucker MCs with um with uh, Daryl McDaniels. Yeah, they, they're good. I I thought so. I mean, I don't know. I liked it. Hello. Yeah. Yo, what happened to you? Yeah. Oh, there you nah, go. It's just cut. It's a- there you go, Anthony. Yeah, I got you. I see it. And There's John's Deli there. right there. Yep, across the street. Yep. A lot of murders. Right That's still well out right there. Yep. yep. Sammy's old stopping grounds. Oh, well, down the end. If yes. you go down the if you walk, If you walk up this block, uh, where Sammy Wack DB. I can walk over there later. That's where Sammy yeah. Wack DB, huh? That's where he had his office. I, I live, one of the first places we ever lived as a kid. It was right upstairs from there. It, it was way before that, but. What's it was up, right Brett, up there. Spot. What's up? Brett, he's, uh, we What's got Trump doing a little walk through uh, uh, Brooklyn here, 86. By, uh, hey, uh, eggs, eggs. Are you by Tomasos? No, that's no, that's down, that's down, down, it's down 86. Hey, hey, Gun, look at the shirt I got on. We got the Biggie Smalls. Yeah, huh? Brooklyn's finest. Best rapper that ever lived. That's right. Baby, baby. Fuck Tupac. Greatest rapper. Fuck Tupac. How dare you? <laughs> Biggie, baby. It's going to be a lot of slow okay. singing and flower bringing. <laughs> My burglar alarm starts to ring. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Paging me at 5, 4, 6 in the morning. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. Morning yawning. <laughs> baby, baby. Hold on. Let me thank JC here. Thank you so much, JC. Damn, today's my day, huh? JC, my buddy. My buddy, JC. Was ch- hey, JC, I was ch- it was good chopping it up with you yesterday. It was actually the first time I got to really talk to you. JC, I, I saw, yeah, I saw somebody did a show on you tonight. It's pretty fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Gunsmoke, thanks for the loyalty and friendship. Now that I'm blowing up, the haters are hating, the clout chasers are clout chasing, and those with dying channels are seeking to get my attention <laughs> to save them. Who are they? I shall pay them no mind. That's there right, you go, Tavon Ace. Hey, you got you, babe. I got it. Yep, yep. So I let me give you a little man. run of this. Let me give you a run of this block. Go ahead. So Phyllis, Phyllis Birdie's father, the one that Tommy chopped the head off. Yep. Tommy cried. Well, this used to be his social club right here. I'm going to show you. It's still, wow. it's still a, a cafe. Right there. That's the new club now. It's a cafe, right? It's, yeah. it's still a cafe, but it used to be, it used to be that social club, Michael Marigin. And if you watch the beginning of Bronx Show, you see. Old, Two or three of those guys that used to ha- be in that club were in the beginning of that movie. Wow. You got no trees around there? What the fuck? Looks depressing. Tree grows what do you broken. need fucking trees for? I don't know. It brings character to the block. You know? Yeah, here's some trees right here. Look. Yes, there. Oh, okay. Yeah, real fancy. <laughs> <I like that>. <laughs> <laughs> fucking guys worry about trees. Giving us a walk, walking <laughs> guys worry about look. trees. I don't know. This I, pet, I looked down here. Hey, Smoke. This we pet, got this pet co- over there. This pet co- uh, Smoke. This was the former site of the White Castle drug ha- haven. They, it was it was a White Castle where they used to deal drugs. The employees, the owner, the fucking manager, everything. <laughs> it was to be confused with Death Haven. <laughs> yeah, not yeah. yeah, no. There's a D train right there. It used yeah. to be the B train. They switched now, it around. Now going away from you, drum. That's going towards where Tamar, like by Bay Eight. That would that be train right there. The direction that that train I'm facing goes to Coney Island right there. Yeah, right. I can but walk to Coney Island from here. To, yeah, but he was no. Tomasos Tomas- is that that this yeah. is the end of 86th Street, pretty much down where I'm walking to. Right, and Tomasos so, right, is all the way up, down now. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah way down. And Bay yeah. yeah, close to 14th Avenue. Yeah, 86 and Gay Eight. Yeah, fuck yeah, Gay Eight. According to Tony Pizza, that's who I am. I'm Bay Eight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck him too. I said on the show. Me? I live. I, I said on the show, I live in the Bay Street, uh, off of Bath Avenue. He's like, <laughs> I know it. I know it. You're Bay 8. That's Bay 8. That's why he's fucking with me. God bless, guys. That's Bay 8. JC, thank Michael you, Michael Moore Mile. Michael Moore Mile, $10. <laughs> what 
What do we got in the kitty? What do we got in the kitty? Yeah. We got 65 what's, this, the kitty. what's this fucking wee shit? What do you mean we? <laughs> Who's we? You mean we. you? Yeah, exactly. JC, you're the man. But, Thank you, brother. Yeah, JC. Go, yeah, that's JC what comes and the home. Sunshine that's Band. <laughs> that used to that, that Dunkin' Donuts used to be a car. That used to be a Carvel right there. That Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, they sold cookie puss out of there. They used to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Carvel. He used to do his own. Tom Carvel used to do his own commercials. Remember Tom Carvel? He did his own commercials. I am yeah. participating. I am participating. Carvel ice cream star. <laughs> so my band had a studio in the. In the 80s, my band had a studio right here, and we used to in practice in that basement. That roughly ass fucking. <laughs> and there's Shady Park. That that's, that's Shady right, Park. That's where we, we all used to we all used to play baseball in that park. That's Shady Park. Shady Park. That's my neighborhood, cuz. Yeah, that Shady Park has so trees. Hot. Shady Park has trees. That's what I call Shady Park. <laughs> now that's this place here. This was, it used to be all kinds of little shops and stuff. Now it's a Russian restaurant. Russian. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, I saw that. That's just before, uh, isn't that just before L&B? Yeah, them Russian bitches working there, hustle guy. I want you to shoot hot comings in my self face. I must <laughs> tell you, my friend. My friend. That's it, my friend. Yeah, so that, that was, uh, that, friend, used to be a gram that used to be a grammar school. Now it's it, uh, back in the 90s or the 80s, it became an MTA school where they teach the people how to work the trains and the buses and shit. Uh, hey. Lafayette's right over there. Lafayette ain't Lafayette anymore. It's like five schools in one now. Jesus it's like Christ. one of those. They, they bus everybody in. One of the original places, this is Avenue U right here. This is my old, one of my old stomping grounds. You know what kills me? You drive down 86 now, all the Chinese writing on the, on those places, right, uh, Trump? Yeah, well, you, you know who was it? I think, I, I think it was uh, it was a promo. Uh Andrew oh, Cuomo, that, made, that he made them write uh, all the, the the words in English too. He said you can't have it in just Chinese. Yeah. So, I hate there's that. projects projects right there. Yeah. And that's this Baptist church has been here since I was born. This little Baptist church, Black Baptist church for the projects right there. They've been there since I'm a kid. The Jacks. Okay. What are you doing down there? What you doing around here, cracker? Nah. Uh, you know, you know, on, I, when I go to when I go to LMP, I park right in front of Marlboro Project. You park over there. Yeah. I park. Uh, Never a problem. Hold on, let me take Captain is... America again. I'm yeah, sorry. Bro. I'm sorry. Captain Ten America. Alex Vella, four fifty. He's been making a lot of money lately. So are you today? Thank you, Captain America. Get a question. Feels you. good. Hey, drum. It's gonna cost you fifty dollars to get out of pizza jail. Thank you to Alex. Thank you to Alex Trella, Mr. Baddish. <laughs> get a Captain America. Fifty dollars. Get out of Fifty dollars. Yeah, my man. <laughs> Thank you so much Fucking for these weird. blessings, man. Thank you. God damn it, Trump! You're killing, man. I'm telling. You. Freezing out here. Fucking cold now. This was beautiful before. It's cold as the witch's tit out. Cold yes, right. so, you know, I was come, I was, listen. I was coming out here when it was thirty degrees and eating fucking pizza outside of the table because they don't have the the pizzeria don't have the tables inside anymore. Yeah, it took them out. Can we plant some fucking, fucking trees in that neighborhood. I have trees on my block. I, I don't need God, trees over man. here. Drums, this is a main thoroughfare. Right? The same fucking dog. the same fucking stupid ass Queens where you go ask people where you are. They're, hey, I, I can stand on the corner of like fortieth, forty first Avenue, wherever the fuck it is. Hey, where uh, you know where 41st Avenue is? No, I'm sorry, I can't help you. <laughs> You're standing on the fucking corner. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. I don't know. Is it? There's yet another Russian club. Excuse <laughs> can you tell me what 41st Avenue is? <laughs> there it is, one smoke. The legendary L and B. Now Let's you get. See the now you get to see it firsthand. Oh, they got. There's the park. There's the parking lot that holds six cars. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Trump, what about the bathroom at, at L and B? Yeah, it's the same. Wow. Everything's yeah, the same. Yeah. Nothing's changed. Yeah. The same. The wow. same fucking. The same fucking piss stain that's on the corner after twenty five years. Hey, where did they whack so, the original owner when he walked home from there? Which way at his house. It's, at his I house. Staten Island. Street, no? no, I think it was in Staten Island. His house. So this is how L and B is uh, smoked. Nice. Okay. It's, I want to show you. It's a whole like a food court almost, right? Yeah. They spread so out. This yeah. is the pizza. That's one window for the pizza. And you go down here, and there's a window for the Spumoni and the ice, right? 
Whoa. And then next next door is a sandwich one. And then that's the restaurant. They just put up this little shanty outside so people could walk into different yeah. places. Now they got restaurant? the Uber. Now they got the Uber guys yeah, picking up Marie. sandwiches over there. Hey, yeah. hey drum, so that, is that, this is a restaurant. That little Chinese lady still bouncing oh, around it. What's that? Bro, that little Chinese lady that just goes from table to table. Still but the videos? With the DVD? No, no. See no, the no, DVD. She's a little old lady. I think she's waiting for your empty cans or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they're all over the place. I mean, you, you can't pick yeah, point yeah. one. I, I gave her a couple slices one night. She almost fucking had a heart attack. The, the Unabomb is here. Right there. Right here. <laughs> Fuck me. Show hey, show smoke with the, uh, <laughs> with the yeah. famous square slice. What's that? Show him with the famous square slice. I'm getting one yeah. right now. What do you mean? Yeah, let's see what it looks like. I'm, I'm getting one. My heart on my heart on American right dollars. I'll tell you right away. I'll tell you right away if it's good or not. Hey, stay right there. I'll be there in an hour. You got to. You have to understand this, smoke. It's, it's the pizza is charred. Yeah. It's a squip, squippies, and the cheese slices of mozzarella go on first, and then okay. the sauce goes right on top. Sauce on top with wow. olive oil, with, with olive oil and grated cheese and oregano, and it's a fucking personality. Amazing. Sounds Make good to me. Personality. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, the olive oil. You got to put the olive but, oil. On that but the, right. only pro- the only problem with it is it's fucking $4. Yeah, what's the, what's the, what's the pie cost uh, now? Uh, 40, 30, 30, 30 bucks. 32? 32. Yeah, but how many slices? A lot of slices. Uh, 12. It's a, pie. It's a regular no, it's pie. big, Smoke. It's big. Yeah, it's big? Yeah, squares. <laughs> it's supposed to be smoking over here. Uh... Smoke, trees bring birds, birds bring shit, shit brings car covers. Yeah, they shit all over my car today, BX. I had to hose the fucking go. thing down. Personality, Tell me here. About it. <laughs> How long on a fresh one? Oh, what's the name? Uh, hello, uh, front. Yeah, I have. Somebody's got personality. Mickey, he's there. I can't even do it. Me, I eat the personal. Personality, me, I eat the personal. That's the shoe. That's the shoe. Dice does a, that. A reverse yeah, grab. Dice do that smoke. He does it good. Yeah. <clears throat> personality. <clears throat> Man, he's the personality. Yeah, Dice would get right? that type of shit. Yeah, sit down. <clears throat> Take a break. What the fuck? You did I'm all fine, that yeah. walking. Personality. Nah, it's nothing to do with it. Hey, Roro. Reverse grandma slice. You're right. <laughs> Ro, you want me to pick a pie up on the way home tonight? So there's Nicole, those buildings you were talking yeah. about. Have an ace. Yes. Those yeah, are the buildings yeah. you were talking about right there that they built. That's it. Yeah. The projects. Well, no, the projects is over the there, project, and the project is the project up. is huge. The project is huge, Smoke. It goes all yeah. the way, all the way up. Fuck, it's yeah. down there. It goes all the way around. It's huge. huge. It's one see, of the biggest. When you see fence on the roof of a brick building in New York City, it's huge. It's huge. It's huge. Smoke huge. found the thirty-eight. They hid behind the bidet for. A... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You want to, hey, Kevin you want to go see the bathroom? Oh, no. <laughs> bathroom. Show it to smoke. I know what it looks like. You want to go see it? Yeah, let's <laughs> see that is. Get all by, because I'll be there in an hour and 22 minutes. <laughs> Come on, I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll I got nothing to do. I'm, I'm off for like two days, three days. Trump, we're coming. So I'm telling you. I'm, I'm going to get this. I'm going to pick this kid up and he's coming. Going. Starting Thursday, the weather's going to be crazy beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, so you yeah. know what? Maybe Thursday. It's gonna rain up until then. I think it's gonna rain up. I gotta, until then. I gotta work yeah. Thursday until until like uh, four o'clock. You drum, you do things yeah. on the weekend, though, right? Oh, oh, look, oh, oh, on the floor, this looks like shit. Oh, yeah. Is that, that a guy doing minutes. a bump in the corner? Is that a guy doing a bump graffiti? In the graffiti? Yeah. Shit on the floor. Is that a guy doing uh, toilet bumps? They got a lock on that door. I'm not taking no shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got a lock. They got a lock. <laughs> they got a lock, but people know you're in there. And they still knock. It's right, next to the, it's right next to the kitchen. <laughs> I yell yeah, when every time they do that, I yell out the fucking door. You know my fucking piss ain't gonna run out any faster if you knock. Listen, if you keep this up, I'm not gonna wash my hands when I go make the pizza. <laughs> Especially with my fucking prostate issues. <laughs> oh, yeah, but they can help. You got that too. Hey, drum. Oh yeah, I just, yeah. I'm just getting that. Forget it. Now, if I gotta take a piss, I used to be able to hold it. There ain't no more holding it. No, no, no. Yeah, me too. I'm getting you, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Nah. Crazy. Oh, the bidet you, help. You wait, wait another 15 years. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not looking forward to it. Terrible. Well, gun smoke, you got to understand. You know, if you lose weight, it, it's, it helps. It, it helps does big, help. Big. It does. Yeah. Losing helps weight helps with absolutely everything. Everything. Yeah. When I lose weight, I just lost 18 pounds. My sugar's been perfect. Yeah. I can't. No, like, no, no. I just can't get the discipline lately. I, I mean, I got to lose at least 20 pounds, and I just can't get it done. 
you know, so, kills. so I have this, I have this condition in my stomach called the recti diastasis. It's basically the lining, the, the abdominal. I was in the gym and the abdominal muscles split in half. Wow. And so I have to get surgery to put it back, but it caused a, a hiatal hernia in my belly button. Say hernia, so when I, yeah, when I, like I sing, when I sing, I feel the pressure. It's terrible. It's terrible. And it makes me exhausted. I had, a yeah, hernia. Terrible. I had a belly button hernia done last summer. Oh, yeah. How is it? Not, not gonna, no pain at all. I, I mean, all right. get it out. No, no problems. Not like the other one. You get the one in your groin. Forget oh. about it. That's is it a I small incision? Uh, they went in through my belly button. I didn't even see. I got nothing. I got nothing to show. He's, right now, he right. says it's not an issue. It's not. It's a non-issue. He told me because uh, it's small. Yeah, but it becomes an issue. Yeah, but yeah. But what happens with that one is it grows and grows and grows. And you don't want to make it like where you're wearing a t-shirt. You're like, it looks like you got a, a hard nipple sticking out. You know? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, small color. I'll show you. I'll show. You, I'll, show you, I'll, show you, Thank I'll show you. Give me a. Give me a middle and an end. Or actually, uh, yeah, a middle and an end. There it is, uh, smoke. There it is. You see it? Uh -huh. To work hard. Look at it. Beautiful. This is a grandma. Beautiful grandma. Kind of, kind of, sort of. Well, I think uh, Roro just said it. An upside down. What'd you say? Yeah, upside down. Yeah. That's what they. Yeah, that's what they. That, that's the hipster. Definitely the hipster term for it. Yeah. <laughs> when you Thank you, Captain. Seven. I appreciate you, Captain. Thank you, brother. Let the hipster stay in Williamsburg or Harlem where they belong. Yeah. Exactly. Woke joke. Uh, no, that's it. Keep the woke jokes out of LMB. Keep those Nevada weeders over there in. Uh... <laughs> I miss Lenny's, cuz I miss Lenny's. Right, Fucking Lenny's. Lenny's on top of each other, cuz. Listen, Lenny sold that. Lenny, Lenny yeah, sold so that they, place they, after they, Saturday Night Fever. Yeah. Lenny sold that place, and it's pizza know. after that sucked balls. Is Double J still go there? <laughs> it was never Lenny's anymore. That was the done. The Lenny's hasn't been there in probably 30, 40 years. I heard, he, I heard he sold it to Cigarette. Pakistanis, right? Yeah. No, no. They were, they were Italian, but they were a little oh. lesbian girl. She was friends with the... Uh, <laughs> Drum, I she know was you friends do some of the impersonations from, yeah. uh, from uh, Saturday Night Fever. Come on. Yeah. Cigarette? I have, Cigarette? I have to, I have to think about it. If I listen to something enough, if I listen to something enough, I go... Hey, Nikki, thank God you're here. I don't want to see your mother. You know, so I, I, I was looking at you. You was looking at me, you know. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Carter. What? Yeah. Well, yeah. Look at that. Hey, Mr. Woodman, up your nose with it's a rubber a hose. Sauce. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of sauce. You like a lot of sauce and stuff. Yeah, it looks it's, very it's messy. What? It's messy, but you know what? Smoke, let me Where? tell you about me. I yeah. used to be able to kill a whole fucking that pie you saw. I used to be able to eat the whole oh, thing. Yeah. The whole thing. It's fun. Now I eat, now, now with now with this new medicine I'm on, the, the shot. I eat two slices and I'm like stuffed for like the rest of the day. Yeah. Cigarette in that. Yeah. Hey, Mister Woodman. <laughs> Up your nose with a rubber hose. Yeah. I love the way people say. I love the way people say about on big. Oh yeah. So they sold to it to. They sold it to Ar they sold it to Arabs and Mexicans. Yeah, no, yeah. They yeah. no, they fucking didn't. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Drum the other one too. Or it's not what it used to be. Whatever. Dude, my older daughter's mom, it, her first cousin is married to the owner. He works in the sandwich place in the restaurant for like right, fifty yeah. years. It's the same owner. It's the Barberries. It's the, the guy. Now, the, 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 wait, wait. Didn't somebody steal the recipe and go to Staten Island? And open okay, up so, place so, yeah, so, you know so my, my first my first cousin was one of the guys that went to muscle the guy. Okay, <laughs> it was a bullshit. Over five thousand dollars. They did this whole thing about they 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 shook him up for five thousand dollars. How stupid is that, dude? How it's stupid? Stinking small town. Uh, no, but listen. So the barbarian, so Louis Barberry, the, one of the senior owners that used to be <laughs> died of cancer. He used to come and see me sing. I used to play. Gotti had a place on Cross Bay Boulevard called Danny Sheshawan Restaurant. No, he the didn't. In, the <laughs> owner, yeah, ask, yeah, Angel will confirm it. The owner was into them for money, and they took his restaurant from him, made him run it. They did because they're good so, people. So listen, so I used to sing there back in the day. Yeah. I played piano, and uh, so Danny's uh, the the guy here, the owner, used to come and see me sing there all the time, and he died of cancer. Now Louis was his nephew, the one that got shot. He was named was Louis too. But same family, same owners. They're all still here. The son is here in the day. One of the sons is here in the day, cook making pizza. 
Uh, until, you said Josephine closed down Lenny's, huh? Josephine. Yeah, Josephine. Yep, that's yeah. her. Yep. Hey, uh, well, hey, uh, it's drum. Hmm. I'm looking at my shit here. Okay, I got a Wagner head and a half stack Marshall. That ain't bad, right? A Wagner head? No, those are good. Yeah, I got it. It's uh, what the fuck was it? And a half stack Marshall, four four twelve inch speakers and a and you know, angle cabinet. Not bad. What kind of a car uh, you got? I got a couple. I got a Strat. Um, All right. I got a uh, yeah. It's, it's nothing special. A Strat, and uh, I got an old Rickenbacker bass. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, you got some good stuff. You probably got better stuff yeah, than me. From, you know, when I used to, you know, I, I, like I said, I'm a hack. I like to do it for myself. You know, I used to play with a couple people. Nothing like what you did. Nothing like that. But uh, I, told, I, mean, I, I told my Smoke. Mind, I, could, I could lay down some songs if I put my mind I told it. Smoke I'd be happy to write him a theme song for his show. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what happened? I was in an, I had an accident. I, no, I, I don't. I was yeah. at work and I had my finger uh, on my cord hand. Um, almost well, it was chopped off. It was hanging on by like just a couple, like a couple threads, and they put it back on. And oh, wow. since that, I have a lot of nerve damage in that finger, and it doesn't allow me to. Uh, Were you sticking that um, finger where it don't belong? Well, of course, I still do. I mean, you know, not on me, on whoever will have it. But so, listen, smoke said, smoke said that has a lot of sauce. Well, smoke, there's usually more. That's not enough for me. Really, yeah. I like more. Yeah. No, oh, well. That's the only thing is they're inconsistent with the sauce. Yeah. Sometimes it's a lot, sometimes it's not. What's um, that? Yeah, Marky said that somebody say lesbians. Yeah, I used to, I, um, over the years, I had a lot of decent gear. You know what kills me? I had an, I, I just saw it the other day. I had an original Univibe from like the uh, 70s. Them things are going for like well over $1,000 now, you know, for a pedal, an original one. Not like the ones they make now. You know, yeah, I can't believe the the, the money <clears throat> she goes for you, like you know. Well, I got back in the day, yeah, yeah. I got I got two acoustic guitars and two electrics. One of my electrics, both of them have built-in effects. My electric guitars. Oh, okay. What well, they effects like, are built-in? One of them is called that? uh one of them called is called a uh, Alesis X guitar. Alesis, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, I mean, you know. Some of that stuff is investment. I mean, if you were smart enough to invest in uh, 59 Gibson Les Falls a long time ago. Uh, I got a Takamini I got a Takamini acoustic from the 1990s that's yeah. been to more countries than most people. <laughs> <laughs> than me, that's for sure. <laughs> you ain't never lie, boy. Nah. I got, I got Satchel's pussy belt of metal. <laughs> ah, fucking monkey mucks. He kills me, too. Hey, no, you got to get on your show, Smoke. You got to get Sally Peppers. Sally Peppers. <laughs> no, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. But BX is down to some, on, onto something. We need uh, drum. <laughs> You're going to do a, a, a theme song for the show? It's got to be the DB boy anthem. Yeah, we got the DB boy do? anthem. All, right, all I got to do is come to my house. I got I got all my uh, all the recording equipment hooked up. <laughs> hey, I'll, lay, I'll, lay down a I'll lay down a shitty bass line. It'll take me about 30 times, but I'll get it. You do the guitar and vocals, TV, and, and and smoke could just uh, rap over the top <laughs> in a loop. We'll put smoke rapping in a loop over the top. Yeah, that's right, boy. I mean, TV he could boy. download. He could download some free DOS software, and I could show him, tell him how to do it, and just bounce some of the tracks back and forth. Uh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. What did you just ask him to do? I could get. I could show him how to down down. Oh, forget what? it. All right, I, oh. I understand. You know, <laughs> first of all, you know yeah, exactly where you can go with this. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. Yeah. Okay. That reminds me. He, 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 listen, he knows how to do it. He just doesn't want to fucking do it. No. I'll do it. No, you won't. Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know you won't. No, you won't. We, we got you. your number there, Christopher. Listen, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're both calling you out, as did Rob Jean earlier. Now we're both calling you out. You're a lazy motherfucker. Yeah, as Tony Soprano, as Tony, you're talented. You're talented. Don't as Tony Soprano lazy. would say, as Tony Soprano would say, Christopher, <laughs> download the fucking thing already, Christopher. <laughs> Smoke never had the makings of a varsity uh, no, YouTube player. <laughs> no, you never, yeah, yeah, you never, you never had the makings of a varsity content creator, <laughs> and bro. I, I say that, I say that with nothing but love. I know, I know. talent that I'll never fucking have. Okay, I know. It sounds what like you you're saying it with a lot of fucking hatred, actually. <laughs> well, I mean, I am. I mean, that's just the way I come on. I don't know how to say anything loving. I just, I don't know how to do it. Only to my daughter. No, but honestly, I mean, bro. <laughs> 
I mean, you, and you got people offering to help you with stuff. I'd be at Drum Capella's house tomorrow night making a fucking theme song. <laughs> yeah. I already showed his. I already sent to some of his stuff. I told him to get me a portfolio that he didn't do, but I, I showed him some of the graphics he does to some <laughs> of my friends. He didn't what? He didn't what? <laughs> I was supposed to send him uh, some of my artwork. Yeah. yeah. Just stay, <laughs> stop right there with that. You were supposed to. Say no more. I know what I know how to finish that sentence. <laughs> your, 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 your screen name should be I was gonna. Yeah. I, was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna. From gun smoke to I was gonna. Yeah. I, no, I not I was gonna. I was gonna. I don't know, but I know what's his face. Uh, Ike Turner in the Tina Turner movie had a real, it, it's got a, the N word in it, so I'm not going to say it, but he told her that she had more excuses than a going to jail. And you know what, Smoke? Oh, Jesus. She got more excuses. Hey, Tabernace, <laughs> Tabernace, yeah. yeah. who had more hits? Ike or Tina? Uh, I, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Am I right? Sing the song about Tim singing Take the cowboy boot off in the, in the limousine. <laughs> and yeah. again. And it, I do not condone any male to female. Uh, no, 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 definitely not. But it's just a movie. I mean, um, it's terrible. But it, yeah, was, it, was, it was pretty movie. funny. It was pretty funny. <laughs> what the pie? No, somebody, the pie. somebody in the somebody in Lefty's chat yesterday said I sounded like you. They asked if it was Tabernese. <laughs> What's that? You sound like, like me? A little. Yeah, bit. somebody, somebody in Lefty's chat. Oh, uh, geez. I, well, you know what? I can't sing, and I have a feeling you could sing good, so I'll, I, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are both paisan. Yeah. Uh, you are too. You are too, Smoke. You're, you're half Italian, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm a mutt. I'm half. All right. <laughs> Frankie, I'm a mixed he, breed. Like, borrowed, he, like, borrowed Ike Turner's wig, Frankie. <laughs> he, like, oh. borrowed Ike's wig. <laughs> oh, I swear well, to God, wait, dude. Wait, it was wait. the uh, something about the eyes and the nose. It didn't look like a light. It did not look like a light. No, it looked like uh, well, it looked like somebody else that wore a wig. His eyes were all puffy. Yeah, yeah. I said something was up with him, but then they got mad. You know, like hey, don't wait, dare wait. you say that. Hey, Ro Ro's even in on it now, Smoke. Oh, there's work involved. And oh, God damn it, Ro Ro! <laughs> guys up in the air. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I'm more Korean than you, you know. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm more okay. lazy than you are. I'm going to have uh, to be a fat bastard and get some Spumoni just so you guys can see it. Oh. <laughs> Captain, I, I, get, I, get the, I get just the pistachio. Flavor. You can mix all three flavors, but I just get pistachio. I think the one I get is I the uh, uh, tiramisu, but I think that's ice cream, I think. Gelato? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, I think I it's actually ice cream, Smoke. Huh? I think it's actually yeah. ice cream. It's really good. Yeah? Yeah. If you go inside... They have remember Tortonis, the Tortonis. Yeah, you know the little uh, little oh. ice cream cups with the almonds on top. Oh yeah, they have that. Hey, you know, speaking of Tortonos, uh, oh, oh Tortonos, that's the pizzeria. Yeah. Okay. So about two years ago, I'm down there, and I got pizza there before. So I go down there, and the fucking metal roll up doors half down. So I duck under, and I go inside, and the old lady's there with a couple other guys, and I'm like, hey. I'm going to get a pie. She goes, oh, no, no, we don't do it no more. You got to call it through uh, Grubhub. Oh, like, God. Grubhub? Yeah. What are you fucking kidding oh, me? Oh, my God. Like, but well, I'm there right now. So she nods up to a guy at, at the pizza oven. He puts the pizza in the box and he hands it to me. I said, okay, what do I owe you? She, you don't know me or nothing. I said, come on. No, go, go, you go. I'm like, all right. It was the worst pizza I've ever had in my life. Really? I had that pizza before. It I never was, had it. Never had it. It, it. it tasted like, and I watched him take it right out of the oven. It tasted like he took a, ha a glass of beach sand and poured it all over it. It was terrible. It had something crunchy on it, and I don't know what the fuck it was. <laughs> it was terrible. You know what I heard about L&B? They, they never washed the pans. That was the secret to their, their charring. <laughs> they, no, no, no. Seriously, they never washed them. They, they just keep making pizza after pizza. That sounds like well, a health code violation. No, not at all. I heard the uh, they so hot. Their hands. They don't wash their hands either when they come back from the bathroom. Well, that, that's that's in every restaurant. But <laughs> um, the funny thing is, like, uh, my, they used to, they called my grand my family was from Coney Island, my mother's family. But my they used to call my grandfather the unofficial mayor of Coney Island from the '30s to like the '70s, and he 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 delivered the first buns to Nathan. I have the article somewhere in my uh in my my lockbox. And I and he was he used to play a uh, ragtime piano on the boardwalk and all the clubs, and I 
I found I gotta I gotta post it on my community page. I found his cabaret card, dude. It <laughs> looks like it was it looked like it was brand new. Like like I just got it. <laughs> it's from like way back in the day. That was that was Mimi's uh, place, Coney Island. Back Mimi, in the day. Mimi, yeah, Mimi was my grandfather's friend. It, it, Mimi was, a, yeah, yeah. Did he Mimi, yes, he did. Yeah, he he had, had some words with uh, Carla Gambina. Yeah, I heard, you yeah, look yeah. like a jerk. Of. Yeah. Oh yeah. Who told that story? Um, oh, I was in the uh, um the guy from the uh Catalupo or whatever the fuck is. Yeah, go uh, uh, Cal Cantalupo Realty. That Cantalupo, guy. yeah, yeah. yeah. So my father, nah, my father, nah, my father, nah, my, father <laughs> my dad's brother was in the Merchant Marines. You know what that is, right? Yeah. So anyway, so he came. He used to come every year to see us, and he lived in he lived in San Francisco, and he lived in L.A. But he used to come and see us, and he'd hang out at this bar in Coney Island called the Seven Seas Bar. That was Mimi's place, and he would sit there from eight o'clock in the morning to midnight with Mimi drinking. Mimi was a bad alcoholic. That's why he did what he did. That's yeah. what. Yeah. It, that's what. Uh, that's he was a bad bullshit. drunk. Chris and yeah. what's up, babe? What's up? Yeah, that's what uh, Kate Lupo. That was smoke. That was not one of those ones we were talking about from the eighties. Yeah, that, that old, was a uh, good. That was a good crime from, uh, from England. Yeah. I want to yeah. send out a special uh, thank you to Rob Jean and Francisco Fiordolino for ditching me, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Fiordolini hit the light button while wow, we got the muscle. Francis. <laughs> That's funny how he knew of my 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 of of my friend that was a uh, Caesar's brother. That's funny how he knew of him because not people knew even knew about him. Oh, that, you know? wait, that, that was Caesar's brother. You were talking about that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's he, a fur coat. Was he uh, a lot younger than uh, Caesar? I guess right. Not a lot, but he was younger. Right. You no, know? he was older than me. He was a little older than me. I did. He did. She's have any other Joey. Uh, brothers. Uh, he used to tell my friend. He used to go, Joey. Uh, uh where are we gonna go now? Come on, Vito. Just follow, just follow along. Follow along, Vito. Oh, Joey. Uh, I found the snare drum in front of the school. Uh, to go. I'm gonna throw it down on the Jews in their Shabbos hut while they're eating. <laughs> oh, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? He's, a, he's like a retarded version of his whack brother. Which way did he go? Hey, uh, Frankie. What, what, no, why did Richie kill Bobby Cantaloupe? Um, oh, Joey Kinnish. Joey Kinnish, where are you from? There he is. Hey, uh, <laughs> whatever happened tonight, uh, uh, kid? Uh, I said Beetlejuice three times and Frank showed up. <laughs> you know, the puzzle factory. Puzzle, the puzzle factory. factory. Well, you like that one, huh, Frankie? Yeah, I like it. I'm giving Frank it to you. That's you see good. where I am, Frank? Yeah, well, uh, you're in um, that pizza place. Money <laughs> God. <laughs> the Pizza Hut. <laughs> Not owned by Indians. Not owned by Mexican or Indians. Right. Right. Arabs. Nope. nope. I go inside. I go in the restaurant right now. I'll introduce oh, you to What's up? Red, what's up, Red? Red, Joey what's Kinesh. up, Red? Joey Kinnish. Um, Captain America. So Where's Joey Kinnish from? Seagate. I, 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 like Kinesh, oh, so you're, um, Joey, you're from Seagate? Side. Captain wow. America, thank you. Joey Kinesh is from Seagate. How cool. Seagate. Seagate I just walked Bush. up there the other day. I walked up there the, that last nice day we had. Not to be confused with Seagirt. It's semen. It stinks over there. Oh, you know, you're not, not going to see this pomoni today because I just saw something else I want. Over there. Over there. Watermelon, what? Watermelon ice. Nice. Right. They're like over there. They don't know how to make ice over there. Yeah. Stink can I get a lot? Can I get a large mixed watermelon? Watermelon and cherry. It's nice. Thick. Yeah. I, it's I, I know. I know fish. Could you give me a discount? No, I'm only kidding. I know fish. I'm, just kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm spit in your I'm ice. Kidding. I'm kidding. You know fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the fuck yeah, out of here! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't you ever come back in this joint again? They're gonna give you a family also flavor. <laughs> give you a fresh Fabuloso smack. Flavor. Come here, let Fabuloso me give you a fresh flavor. smack. Yeah. Fabuloso. <laughs> That's funny, Frankie. If you don't have that Fabuloso <laughs> in this joint tomorrow, you don't <laughs> own nothing, my friend. Yeah, who was that that was, that was yelling at somebody for $200? What phone? What was that? On a wiretap? That one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's... Uh, that was supposed... Oh, no, that's um, 
they did it in a Chicago voice, but it was actually is Lenny inside? No, uh, it's supposed to be New York. I don't know why they did it. Yeah, they identified the guy who said it now. Who was it? I don't know. It's on Lee Cole. It's on James Proctor's channel now. I think. I thought it was like as a guy from Chicago. Was it a Chicago guy? He sounds like he's from Chicago, but I don't think he is. Was it a guy named Johnny? I forgot his fucking name. If I look for it, I'll never find it. I thought it was um, Echoes. I don't know. You mean he was threatening because he owed him 200 bucks? <laughs> Somebody said it was 200 Yeah, it was $200. Yeah, it was 200. <laughs> no, you you have 200 in there by the bar. Because <laughs> then you don't owe nothing, my friend. <laughs> you keep up the, the end of the line with me. <laughs> in the Chicago voice, right? God damn. Yeah. Hey, I, if I don't, I'm going to come there in my car. <laughs> well, stay in my car. Yes, it's about two hundred thousand by the time it gets there. <laughs> if you don't have my two hundred by tomorrow, <laughs> if you don't oh, have I that two hundred thousand, though, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna no, break every bone in your body. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna start. I heard that. I heard I'm, that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take fucking a dollar fifty at each part. <laughs> it, was, it, was the, it was the weekly juice on the load, is what it was. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, that every was it. Friday from here on in. Yeah. yeah. You have that two fifty in this joint tomorrow. Well, you yeah. owe nothing. I'll break every bone in your body. So I'll break me. every. Uh, it'll be it'll be a, it'll be a dollar fifty. It'll be a dollar fifty apart. And it'll things, come out. Yeah, the Chicago accent <laughs> just makes me right. Yeah. Yeah, just fucking, just I hate that. When uh, when Pesci is yelling at De Niro in the desert, you Jew motherfucker, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Just out here because of me. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, how about the bank when he tells him? Um, oh, yeah. When he goes, just about yeah, well, I'll take your fucking you're face over here. Put you the hole. I'll be coming out of jail. Yeah. And guess what? All the banker, yeah. yeah. So, uh, Anthony, you said you lived in Vegas? No, I didn't. No, 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 no. Oh. No. Um, no, no. I was always New York. Uh, I think, the, first, uh, the first place I ever lived in Vegas, I lived right across the street from that Tony Roma's where, uh, where they blew that guy up. Oh, lefty, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It was called the Sunrise Apartments. They was called the Sunrise Apartments. And Frank, you'd appreciate this. The guy that was the manager, he was a groundskeeper at Shea Stadium back in the day. <laughs> really? Yeah. There was a groundskeeper who got in trouble uh, years back for yeah uh, for gambling. Hey, Maybe we, that hey, was him. Hey, hey, Frank, what do you think about um the thing with uh, Otani? Um. Uh, with that guy saying it was him that was making the bets, but he 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 yeah. owed four million. I mean, where's this guy getting like four million? From? It was Otani making those bets. Like Fish's dick. <laughs> but oh, Gunsmoke. um, Gunsmoke, look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's my dick, Hush. That's my dick. You know Jeez. what they did to Pete Rose, and now all of a sudden this thing they're not really taking it. This guy Otani was making big bets. Yeah, but. Was he betting on the same spot? Don't matter. I don't think you're allowed to bet at all. I don't think you're allowed to bet, are you? No. No, at you're not all. allowed to bet at all. But professional sports, however, you know, if you really want to, like, kick somebody out of the uh, a baseball hall of fame or something, I, th- I think if you gamble, like, in a casino or whatever, that's okay. Right. But if you bet on professional sports, it's not. Right, but if, but if Frank, not, if not especially if you put me for four mil, I mean, come on. Well, especially if you've been on the same sport, now you got a right. problem. Yeah, I got, I got a funny, I got a funny Pete Rose story. I was playing in Coronado, California, at a resort, and Pete Rose came in. He was with this fucking nine foot Chinese girl, it looked like a man. <laughs> I swear to God. So she said he sent her over with the. I found out later it was like one of his, like his wife or his fiance, but. Sends her over with a hundred bucks. So I said, "Can I go over and meet Mr. Rose?" So me and my friend went, went over. The first thing I said to him, I said, "Mr. Rose," I said, "Why did you beat up Buddy Harrelson?" <laughs> and he oh, goes, wow. "You know what he said? Here's what he said. I'm not even kidding. He said, I was hung over. I was fucking grumpy as shit. <laughs> I was yeah, hung over. Seventy-three playoffs. He said yeah, he was well, hung over, Frank. He said he was hung yeah. over. Hey, Frank. You know what? Uh, the pitcher for the Pirates, Doc Ellis. He pitched sure. a perfect game." And he was high on LSD. On LSD, yeah. That's that isn't that amazing? You know, and, and who was the guy that, that slid and had like a quarter ounce of coke in his pocket? And That's Tim Rose. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, Tim Raines. Yeah, yeah, ironically, his nickname was The Rock. Rock Reigns. Oh, yeah. And that's why. Rock Reigns. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I know. They're, shit. They're human just like we are. They got vices, you know? Oh, listen, I get it. I mean, they used to come out here um, when the, that year, the Mets 86, Davey Johnson, Strawberry, all them. Uh, you know who oh, was yeah. a real fucking uh, uh, Coos Hound was... Um, uh, the pitcher. God damn it. Uh, he does the like announcing. No, no, no. He does the announcing for the Yankees. Uh, the white guy. Come on. The white, white guy. guy. The, the, guy the white way? guy. He David Cone? He's in the Mets. David Cone? Cone. Oh, very, very white. Yo, yo. Very white. Yo. Very white. Very yeah. white. Yeah. Do yep. Keep on. Keep and on then it was funny it. because it never failed. There was a place here called the Starting Gate. Everybody hung out, right? Never failed. After a game, Davy Johnson would be in there. And after about two or three hours of drinking, Davy Johnson wants to fight the world. And we used to tease the fuck out of him, you know? And he'd get loud and loud and, you know, start standing up like he was going to fight somebody. And then somebody would take him out of there. I mean, Strawberry would come in. He'd grab a chick. He'd be gone. Crazy, man. Was that yeah. Long Island? Yeah, yeah. Um, Right by, not far from St. Rocco's, uh, Frank. Right, right. Gotcha, there. gotcha. Because yep. it was because they all lived here for some reason. They rented here, and what's his face still? Uh, he, he's rented a condo here still. Um, Dwight Gooden. Dwight Gooden. Um, yeah. it's, okay. a, it's a refrigerator box at the end of Landing Road. <laughs> wow. No, but no, he's he's in somebody's condo over here. I see him every so often. Yeah, a couple of them lived in Old Brookville as well. Yeah. A lot of the Islanders too. You would catch around here too. Yeah. You guys have Wi-Fi. Eddie, you guys uh, have- Eddie Westwall, <laughs> one of the old now my battery's about to die on my other phone. You guys have Wi Fi? Yeah. You have Wi Fi? No. Uh, my friend, that. please. Like shit. We do, but you can't use it. Oh, it's not for that customer. Wi Fi is free, my friend. Please. Shit. shit. How about no, my internal wig? <laughs> my my friend, phone please. is at 20%. All oh, right, you got time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do some late night shows this week, Captain. I was going to say, sure. folks looking to get off right now anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going back to his fucking hibernation tunnel. Yeah, he's gonna smoke with you. Oh wait, you're gonna you are gonna do some late night shows this week. Uh, yeah, I have to. I I have been slacking on the late night shows, so I gotta do maybe like two or three this week. Yeah, I survived the ghetto. Start the month off the right way, so I don't have to stress. But, but yeah, we'll I did hear that about David Cole too, for sure. I, do you remember remember a Mets backup catching in Mackie Sasa? Remember? Sure. That? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well. I... <laughs> I don't even want to tell that story. Well, it was one of the uh, usual, usual uh, friendly girls in town had him one night. And, uh, boy, she had stories to tell about him. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking dinosaur he was. <laughs> Frank, if you're, if you're coming in the summer, we definitely got to hit a Met game. Oh, for sure. For sure. I, I can catch with you guys. Especially that you guys went into baseball and stuff. I like that. Yeah, yeah, Frank. I'm a Met sure. fan. I'm a Met fan, so. Well, me too. Me too. Big Met fan. Mac I'm a Yankee Sasha fan. Hit the pitcher for nothing. I'm a Yankee fan, but I, I I love baseball. So if it's a Met game, we're gonna go to. I'm in. Don't me too. Yeah. 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 I I went to a couple out of state games uh, last year. If hey, Frank, if you text me on the side and give me an idea of like maybe a, a time or when, I could definitely uh I'll grab the uh, tickets. You know, if you if you know what I mean, we'll talk about it. But yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah, well, I you know, drum me, you smoke, whoever else. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, that'd be what fun. That'd be fun. Yeah, definitely. But uh, I'm gonna pop off and eat. I haven't eaten dinner yet. Yeah. Uh, All right. I heard you. I heard you wait. I heard you wait once this week already. What are you talking about? <laughs> this week, <laughs> I must eat five times today alone. What are you talking about, bro? It's smoke. I it doesn't look like I've ever missed a meal in my life. Five eleven two forty, bro. I'm solid, believe me. She is five eleven two forty. You're you're tall, man. Oh yeah, shit! Really. Yeah. Frank, how tall are you, Frank? How tall are you, Frank? I'm about five eight. I, I put on weight about two twenty five. Oh, I thought wow. Frank was like six one, six two, big fucking oh, know, outfit of a man. Yeah. No, I'm five, five, I'm five seven one eighty. Five seven. That's 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 ideal. That's what I want to be. I was yeah. five seven one eighty in sixth grade. No, nah, <laughs> no, I just lost bro, twenty I pounds. Oh wow, that's pretty good. That's good. 
They're very good, actually. No drum. I'm 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 breaking your balls, but I I wish I could I could get down to at least two ten. You can get that get that drug I'm on, Manjaro. It's fucking great. You have diabetes? Yeah, Manjaro. No, I'm gonna bring that up. I don't, um, but I probably am borderline with the weight and everything. You know what I mean? That pre diabetes, yeah. whatever it is. Manjaro sounds like a mob captain. Manjaro, Miami, with Cole Hyman Rock. Manjaro. Oh, Manjaro, he, isn't he doing ten? Isn't he doing twenty? Yeah. Well, isn't he doing twenty with Laleen? We got you know, to make our own, like, fucking, invent, let's invent some mob names. <laughs> oh, God. The my, vet, my favorite mob name is Stumpinato. Stumpinato. <laughs> that guy from fucking L.A., Johnny Stumpinato. Johnny Stumpinato. Hey, yeah. hey, Frank, did you hear what I told Rob Jean before? Mm -mm. I said, I heard that uh, I heard that fish was a capo of a Native American tribe. <laughs> <laughs> they, they <were laughs> you remember what I said? Smoke. Uh, chief sitting down the pee. Or something. Yeah, <laughs> nah, nah, he's yeah. a Somali tribe. They circumcised his fucking hemorrhoid. No, he's chief two dogs fucking. <laughs> yeah, chief, chief, chief pee sitting down. Yeah. <laughs> chief, oh chief uh, Mama Guma. No, Mama chief Guma. IP, chief IP sitting down. I'm <laughs> <laughs> French Canadian for I grew up without a mother. I had a, he had a good uh, mom. He had a good mom for the good mom. Mama Guma. Mama Guma. Yeah. Hey, Mama I have Guma. a feeling, drum, wherever we go in the group, it's going to be a lot of laughs and a loud. <laughs> loud. Oh, yeah. It's going to be loud. It's going to be yeah. very loud. I'm a lot. I'm a lot louder. In, I'm a lot louder in person. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm really quiet. When we're out, I'm very quiet. You, you we should go to Minneapolis and fucking um, uh, to go see the twins. We should just fucking roll up and fucking. Uh, I have a friend exactly. there. It's not about the twins, believe me. Uh, I mean, Frank, you talked about rolling up a couple places. <laughs> no, but yeah. we're not even telling the us. We'll just go like start ordering ice. Can I get like can I get like twenty lemon ices and then we'll fucking yeah. bolt? No, no, we do <laughs> drug. No, oh, we do I want to grab one and just fucking throw a ninety mile parabola yeah, right in the fucking eye. So we'll go there, right? <laughs> and one at a time we'll go up to them and we'll order like two or three ices each and we'll walk away. And when we all have our hands full, we'll surround them and just start Pegging him with the fucking thing. That's snowballs. <laughs> Take his eye no, out. Frank, Frank, you know what we'll do with him? Remember that episode of Abbott and Costello where the fucking kids kept coming in? They make make him climb the ladder and then they changed their mind. And he was back down the ladder. He goes, I changed my mind. I want. <laughs> and he goes back up the ladder. You ever see that episode? No. The fucking torch. We'll torture him like that. <laughs> Pull him Who's down an escalator with his fucking ice machine there. I said we take his cart, we go find the tallest hill, we put him on it and ghost ride the exactly. Come on, no, guys, what? please don't do it. Ghost ride, you ghost ride a <laughs> no, place. Please. No, you know what we'll do? We'll, we'll, we'll order ices. I was ices. kidding. I was kidding. Now, two of us will order ices and we'll have gun smoke with a fucking can of spray paint on the other side drawing cocks on the side of his stand. <laughs> I was trying to do the cock suck. I knew he was in Minnesota. I was making him believe I knew. I thought he was in Florida, so like that, he got comfortable. Yeah. And he's like, meet me at the Fort Fort, uh, Fort Lauderdale fucking uh, basketball court. I said, well, I yeah, know, when, I, when I saw his fucking uh, uh, LinkedIn, I, it, it said he was in Florida. Oh, him? Yeah. Yeah, I can go back to Florida, but I'm just saying that Minnesota's his home. Yeah, that's his home base. Okay. The, uh, let's, let's out of every state and every city in the United States, let's go to rotten fucking Minnesota. Well, yeah, not actually not a bad town. No, it's, it's, Minnesota's nice, but yeah, in the winter time is cold and the fucking summer's humid as fucking hey, shit. Hey Trump, don't yeah. you remember that commercial from years ago? A Minneapolis cold is right. <laughs> yeah, but listen, it, it, it's not it's not the number one place I'd pick out to start a business selling con frozen confectionery treats. I know what the fuck <laughs> talking about ice in the winter. <laughs> He's so cheap you won't get ice in the winter. <laughs> Uh, all right, listen, I'm going, guys, listen, uh, Smokey, go on tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, it's like saying super fucking, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, it'd be. <laughs> Wait a minute, Ro, yeah. Ro wants to get in on this. What do you need, Ro? What do you want to get in on? <laughs> she wants to hang out. 
Of course. Well, hey, just because we're cheese. talking about it, anybody's welcome. We're just the guys up here talking about it. <laughs> Let's go ice fishing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people. I'll, uh... Tom, you got to deal with Tommy Day. This case wasn't big. They send them over there. Yeah, right. <laughs> you got the right, New York City uh, what, the, is that, is that what that is that that way Frank is Frank, is that where they send the low the low uh nah, the I mean, low you're nobody and they fucking send you over there fucking like <laughs> the <New York> <laughs> 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 the one way. The government said you wrote <laughs> he ran on the exterminator that came to his house. <laughs> 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 That, that uncle was connected, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. Like, fuck you, motherfucker. I saw the landscaper not using the right protocol. I love it. The kid from the neighborhood. He's a tranny from the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I'm out, guys. Listen, enjoy. Yeah. I'll see everybody tomorrow. God Thank bless. you, brother. God bless. God bless. Hey, hey, God bless. Hey, hey. Seven eight. Bye, My man. Peace. Roll up you, soon. Bye. Yeah. yeah. You want to write a book? Get the fuck out of book. What? What? Be a bestseller, Kaj. How to make ice in Minnesota? Yeah, it's a great fucking place to go. <laughs> Jeez, I, that, I, that is kind of fucking weird, though. Oh, they got the store has a uh, chips ahoy's. I better buy some the before they change the recipe. I'll tell you what happened. They, the old lady grabbed the kids, got the fuck away from them. They got a good fucking plan over there in Minnesota. The, uh -huh. You know, for single moms or whatever. Uh, he got his shit together a little bit, and he went over there, wanted to be next to his kids, and he, he he's doing what all he knows how to do, sell ice. Yeah. Yeah. Frank, what you're going to business, it still has a bunch of the old recipe chips of oil. They changed the recipe. Yeah. We should buy them and sell them on the black market. Old, yeah, he old sells fucking... chocolate chip cookies too. Uh, fish like famous anus. Yeah, famous anus. anus. That's what I used to call it, famous anus. That's what famous they used to sell outside the. That's what they used to sell outside of Ramrods. The guy had a stand. Famous Ram anus ice cream. The greasy pole. Ramrod. That's what Tony Pizzi used to have. Yeah, Ram Ramrod. <laughs> that where was that place? Somewhere on the West Side Highway, I think. <laughs> Not that I would know. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know nothing about that. But, you don't know, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Like you just don't want to call anybody. You want to insult any a man, another man to another man, because, you know, that it could end up bad. But this motherfucker, I have no problem fucking call that fish motherfucker what he is. Yeah, what if, what if, what if Holy Walnut Sam the Sopranos and each other? You say, you remember your first blow job? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does it, does it, taste, did it taste as bad as you thought it was going to be? <laughs> Man. Yeah, that was a pretty good show. What do you guys got going tonight? I got the most laying down right now. How'd you know? I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. I can hear All the right, next fat. I can hear the next fat flapping back and forth. I did. <laughs> That was a pretty good show. You guys funny, mo funny motherfuckers, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'll, 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 be, I'll be at lefties tonight. I'll be at lefties. I, I, I like it. I really, really like lefty, dude. I, I yeah. you know, listen. Let me, tell you, let me tell you a quick story. So lefty remembers it. Because he remembers when I told him I was at Rocky. He remembers it. He goes, there's been the way you reached out to me. He said, everybody else was, was lecturing me and doing this and that. And I said, it was the time I remember separating myself when, 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 it, you know, listen, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to, I know you gun. You don't like me to talk about certain people. Or I won't even mention, I don't even mention this guy's name anyway, but, um, no, I heard know, what he said last night. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, people, you know, I lost my brother died. He was a Vietnam vet, he gave his stuff away the night before he was depressed. Went off the wagon, drank a bottle of Bacardi, took some pills, and died inside a, re a restroom. And my sister died. My yeah. sister died from drugs, IV drugs. She died of AIDS when AIDS first started. Yeah. So wow. when you when you if you really want to help somebody, and you're gonna have a show about helping people, and then you're gonna say just go ahead and die OD today and shit like that, not fucking cool with me. That's yeah. it. Oh, That's understand. it. The source well, that's, that's why it's all with you, you know, and, you. And, and and that's just like ripping your heart out all over again. After yeah, losing yeah. Your family members, and saying something stupid like that, like somebody who you think would fucking understand what people go through, you know. So right, so that's, right. Uh, that's, well, that's it's, it's, it's that's ignorant. 
And it just it just shows it's not sincere. Is. is what it does. It shows it's not sincere at all. There's not there one go. ounce of sincerity in it. And like like he re lefty was saying, I told lefty, yeah. I said what it is with people. Some people is, you know, he said they fit in where they could. Yeah, they 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 are they are who they are, depending on who they're talking to. That's that's who they are. Well, depending on who they're talking to, there's, there's somebody different. Everybody they talk to, there's somebody different when they're talking to a different person. Yeah, and that's not that's not a real person. You know what I mean? Also, on here, you got to try to watch what you say. You know, you got to think before you speak. You know. Uh huh. I yeah, know. you don't. I mean, people catch stuff, but you know, listen. The thing, the thing is, man, I'm a, I'm a compassionate person. I, I don't want to see any. But listen, I goof around about Tony Pizza and this one. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. No. I didn't want to see FBS get a beat. Not, I, I just didn't. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't want to see anybody get hurt, especially in the the manner that they did it. His, son, his mother and his kid. I don't want to see that. I just don't want. You no, know, it's not necessary. I'll tell you what. I give John Eli a lot of credit, and I'll tell you why. Because when that happened, that that incident with the kid, let's just call him the kid. I don't want to. I right. don't want to. Like I next thing it. you know, next thing you know, people are gonna say, "Well, you're mentioning him," but I'm not mentioning him in a bad way. So what happened was, I had told Johnny, like you know, this kid got beat up by these other two guys that he happened to know, and right. the reaction John gave me was one that I didn't expect. Considering this guy started his show on bashing Johnny, right? Mm -hmm. He gave me, he gave me a uh, well. That's too bad, man. I don't want to see nothing happen to the kid. You know what I mean? That's. Right. I wish I would have known. I would have told those guys just to chill out. You know? exactly. So, exactly. So I, I didn't expect that from him, and that was pretty fucking, you know. Yeah, well, uh, it goes to show what he has a side of him that maybe you know doesn't really think that way anymore. You know. Either that or just fucking, you know, at the end of the day, it's just fucking YouTube you guys want to do. It, it, it could be bad on both sides. You know, the person who's going to get attacked and the, the person who's doing the attacking, you know, it's, it's a no-win situation. Never was. It it, it, it's unnecessary, though. But why, why, yeah. you know, listen, if, I, all I got to say is this. And, and I was a scrapper. You know, I had my, I, I studied, I had me and my brother own two martial arts school, one in Hawaii, one in Chinatown back in the day. I, I'm going to post all these pictures to show you guys. I bring receipts. Anyway, but let's, here's the deal. You know what I mean? If you if you have to hit, beat somebody up to prove your point and win the argument, then you lost as far as I'm concerned. Because you were like nothing more than a cornered rat who had a strike because you had no other defense. No intellect. Nothing. You couldn't. Well, you couldn't what the other you. people are doing too, though. I mean, there's certain yeah. people here that... Of course. That if they're going to hit... If they're, yeah, if they're gonna strike first, Frank, it's a different story. I mean, yes. they, 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 some things, some of these things, these people do is despicable. You know, you can't threaten somebody to come to oh, you. No. Absolutely, and, and, Frank. After after you insulted their family, their child, their anybody, it, it, it's it's you know, one of these people are gonna get get what they deserve. You know. Yeah, it happens. But but the sad part I mean, about it's it is that no, yeah, no yeah, it's, it's gonna happen it's for gonna sure. Happen. Yep, I I agree with that. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I said that earlier, but uh, you know, sometimes some of these guys need some tuning up around here, you know. But uh, Rob G was like, "No, nah, I don't want to see nobody get hurt." And I was like, "Yeah, you're right, you know." But some of these guys do deserve it with the bullshit. But I don't know. I try to stay out of that shit. It's none of my business. Yeah, we don't do that. I mean, here, this is what's why it's fun, you know. We just let's go back twenty minutes ago. We were having a good time, and this is what this show's about. I, I like having a good time here. Yeah. Especially uh, not in front of somebody's mother and kid. You know what I mean? That's not. No, uh, definitely. No, it was, shit's got out of control on here. Dude, know? I remember coming home when I was a kid, right? And my father we always got into it with my brother, come home high. He, my brother was in Vietnam. But, you know, oh, I mean, and then, oh, you know, my, 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 my brother coming home high, and, and my father was a maniac. And he, I remember this one time, my brother's on his knees, and my father's striking him with the old phone receiver over and over again, blood gushing everywhere. And I'm a little kid crying my eyes out. You know what I mean? So like, that shit just just gets me. You know, I I don't want to see anybody get. There's no reason to physically hurt them. You know, really. Thank no. you, Chris. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like, let them say what they want. You know, I mean, listen. Once they once they get physical with you, that's another fucking whole different animal. You know, whole different. So you're story. 62, drunk Cavella. No, I'm 60. I just turned 60. You don't push. And your, bro and your brother was what? He was. Uh, My brother was 12 years older. Well, wow. Okay. Yeah, 12 years older. Wow. 
I'll be right. He was back. Like, right. He was he, he, when Nixon ended it, pulled us out. He was he got pulled out with everybody. I got gotcha. you. Shit. So I'm talking about seventy three or seventy five. Yeah, actually, my brother was thirteen and a half years older than me. Oh wow. Yeah. My yeah. sister was eight years older than me. You're the youngest, huh? I was the youngest. Yeah, my brother would have been like in his uh, in late seventies, about six thirty. He would have been about uh, seventy three, seventy four. I think he would have been this year. Yeah. What was this year for, man? Yeah. Police action, whatever the fuck it was. Yeah, he saw some stuff towards the end, but he wasn't in the thick of it. It was almost over. Yeah, you know I, mean? yeah I got you. I got you. He he didn't see that. He didn't see that brutalness that was going on. He told oh, me yeah. some stories, but they weren't like the stories that you hear from other people that are fucking sick. You know. Mm hmm. No, nothing near there with what other people went through, but you no, know, he still saw his scare, and he you know he's he just he didn't want to be there. He almost went a wall a couple of times when he was in boot camp. He's like he just didn't. He didn't want to be there, but I guess he had to be for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. But you know, it, it, we, I, I tell you what, if he didn't go in, in in the military back then, he would have probably OD'd before, you know, before anything, before that happened. You know, so. Yeah, that was the soul. Yep. Yep. Good dude. Very good. He was about a little a really quiet, you know, like, uh, He's very, he wasn't timid, but he was very quiet and very soft spoken. But he was, gotcha, he was gotcha. like martial, martial arts wise, he bushed into he, let's put it this way before he died, years leading up to his death, he was bodyguard on uh, Jake and the Fat Man and Magnum PI in Hawaii. He, lived, he died in Hawaii. Lived in Hawaii. Oh, wow. So he died when in he the got, When he got out of Vietnam, he, 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 was, he lived in Hawaii the rest of his life. Okay. No, he, okay. he died in 90 something. 90. 90. Now, at 94, I think he died, my brother. Yeah, wow. Sorry for your loss. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, but it happens. You know what I mean? I, I, I thank you. So, sure. My sure. sister's death, was, my sister's death, I had to go to Hawaii to bury him by myself. And uh, my, brother's had, my brother had some friends, like, guys he used to do drugs with here in, in Brooklyn, in Sunset Park. Bruno Mars' father was my brother. My brother's death. Hold on. Hold on a second. Yeah, I can't uh, even. Bruno Mars' dad was one of my father's best friends. They were kids. Oh, wow. They used, he was, to, they, used to do, they used to do drugs in Sunset Park together. Oh, wow. I thought he was in yeah. Hawaii, too. He was. He moved. Uh, Pete's father moved them to Hawaii. He moved the family to Hawaii. Then he met Bernadette. Gotcha. He got married Bernadette. When I went to bury my brother, I ended up going back to Hawaii with my nephew after his mother died and I went back there and I ended up playing Bruno Mars' father's show called The Love Note. You can look it up on the YouTube. There's a video on it. But Bruno's, mother's, Bruno's mother's father, Pete, used to nod out on stage while he was singing. He was on Methadone. And, uh, and, right. and Pete's mom, I used to do a duo with Pete's mother. Really? So when, he, when, Pete, when Bruno Mars came out with that song Billionaire, I said, this kid looks so fucking familiar. Because he used to run around the house and ask us how to play songs. That, you know how to play You Are Not Alone? You know how to play this song? That's so, so, so what ended up happening is I went back and I did the show. And then when I got, when my billionaire song came out, I looked, said, this kid looks so familiar. I looked it up online. And when it said Pete Hernandez Jr., I almost hit the ceiling. Because they used to call him Sam Martino. That was his nickname when he was a kid. Because he was cool, uh, Bruno Mars? Yeah, that's where he got Bruno from. That's where Bruno oh, came from. Oh, wow. I got you. I got you. I got you. Because he looked like a little pudgy, like little Bruno San Martino. Oh, wow. Cool shit. And, and, and if you go watch that movie, Honeymoon in Vegas, he's the world's smallest Elvis. And Nobody knows that. Yeah, yeah go check I, it out. I, I he was an Elvis, Elvis impersonator as a kid. He was. He's also a great, he was also in the Legends Live show, which I did later in, in Vegas, but he was Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read that too. Which is great. I didn't read it. I, I, I remember when it happened. <laughs> wow, well, I mean, yeah. You go back to that 70s kind of big band, you know, the 70s bands. Yeah, well, I didn't know who he was until I read that Wikipedia. When I saw Pete Hernandez Jr., I was like, yeah. hey. And then when he was in Vegas uh, playing one time, I called his father and I said, could you get me in? He goes, dude, he doesn't even call me. Jeez. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny how that, how that goes. Huh? Yep. 
<laughs> it's sick. I, well, I have I have a whole bunch of chat. So I, I'm going to start putting shit on my community page. I don't give a yeah, shit. Yeah, good deal, good I don't deal. care anymore. I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I kept in the shadows all this time. I, you know, I said, fuck it. Who cares? I'm not in the fucking mob. I don't give a fuck. You know? I'm 100%. Uh, well, listen, guys. I'm going to shut it down, okay? All right, yeah, brother. Go ahead, go. You're half asleep. You might as well go to full weight. Yeah, right. <laughs> later, guys. Later, drum. Later, drum. Later, drum. Thank you, Frank. All right, later. Uh, later, drum. Thank you, drum. All right, take care. Take care. I appreciate you, brother. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. Three and a half hour show going on three hours and 40 minutes. Great show today, man. I got to say. Uh, great guests. Great support. Great people in the chat. <clears throat> I'm grateful. I appreciate you guys. Uh, let me thank you guys. Danny Green. Sven. Ryan Morrison. My man. Fat Ball Italian. Look at this. My man. Phoenix baby. Da -da. Of course, Captain. Captain was very nice to me today. Thank you, Captain. Shouts to Big Tuna. R.I.P. Big Tuna, man. Roro baby. Roro looked out today. Thank you, Roro. JC, my buddy. Congratulations on your interview and all your future success, brother. Captain again. Thank you. I, I, I guess I have to thank myself. I gifted some memberships. All good people got them. Good to see you, JC Throwbacks. I want to thank Tony the Night Owl. And also, uh, who was the other guy? My man, Rocco. Thank you, Rocco. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the show, people. Um, I'll be live tomorrow. We'll do another 4 o'clock show tomorrow. So be on the lookout. I want to thank Frank and Rob Jean for returning to us. Good to see Rob Jean. Uh, of course, Anthony Tavanese and Drum Capella. Thank you guys for helping out. Great show today. You got a little tour of uh, LNB Spumoni Gardens. That was cool. And uh, we took a little stroll around the neighborhood. And uh, yeah, good show today. I mean, uh, I ain't, I ain't got nothing to complain about today. So uh, thank you guys for being so nice to me, so generous and supportive. I, I'm grateful. And uh, I guess enjoy the rest of your evening. Stay safe. Stay dangerous. Stay classy. Try to be nice to each other if you can. Don't repeat what you hear here. You hear? Because somebody might get upset. Like fish or somebody. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I live for days like this, you know. <laughs> uh, they're few and far in between, but, you know, when I get them, it's, it's fucking awesome, man. It really helps. So, uh, thank you, guys. Peace out, Tony, Chris, Roro Baby, Shouts to Nita. Uh, yeah, that's it, all right? Yeah, hit that like button on the way out. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, all right? Maybe Wednesday I'll take a day off. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. we got to hit the ball rolling. Until next time, people. Peace. Yeah, yeah. Show's over, y'all. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Peace out, y'all. Yeah.